Bachatería, Bachatería Podcast. <risa> Señores, esto es en vivo. Aquí no hay editing ni nada de esto. Esto es, esto, es, esto es en vivo. Eh, Dale el número uno. Va a seguir. Ya tú ves. Sí. You don't get on my shit. Ah, no, no. Ya está anucho, bro. Dime. Bueno, pues señores si y señores. ¿Sabes cómo me pongo para qué me invitan? Porque tú me caes bien. Tú me caes bien. Y a la gente tú le caes bien en el podcast. Y tú a mí, tú eres mío, tú eres mío. Nada, señor, pero bienvenido a otro episodio de lo que es Bachatería Podcast. Donde tu opinión es solamente. Tu opinión, Coño, Anthony, diablo, Anthony, todavía. Dios mío, pero... ¿Qué vamos a hacer con este muchacho? Dios mío, ¿qué es? Dame. Pero queda un chance, me estoy viendo mi nucho, dime. Ajá. Voy a dejar ah, mucho okay. para decir lo que pero, te pero, sí. no. Pero, 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 tú, no, tú no tienes tiempo para beberte un trago, lo que, yo, o lo que él dice. Ahora, 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 vamos, vamos otra vez, vamos otra vez. Problema, vamos, vamos otra vez, vez, okay. vez. El problema es que el trago está tan bueno que tú tienes, no lo iba a soltar de que por la con usted. Ah. What flavor, what flavor you got? You got the raspberry, you, know, you can't even see it. You can't even get the raspberry, el está, el está, el está ya. Ahí lo controle, Dios mío. It's the third one, that's it, dame un chance. Bueno, let's try that again. Let's try Bu again. Buenas noches, todo el mundo. <risa> Bienvenido a lo que es otro episodio de Bachatería Podcast. ¿Dónde es tu opinión? Es tu es... opinión. Mira, está mal, lo cogió también, Ande. Está cruzado, está cruzado. Ay, ay, ay. Bueno, sí. <risa> <risa> Fíjate que lo que es. Háblame de ti, ¿dónde tú estás metido? ¿En qué tú estás? Estoy cansado, I'm sorry. ¿Estás cansado? Tú estás picando mucho. Sí, eh, mira, Anthony, vamos a tener que hacer algo con él porque este muchacho está en toa. I need a break. En toa. No, sí, no. Esas son bendiciones de Dios. Ah, bueno. Yo lo cojo todo. Aparte lo cojo de todo. Baile, hay grabaciones. Para también. número de contrataciones. Por favor, llamen a ah, Bachatería Podcast. Ahí está el DM. Fíjate, estamos activos. ¿Cómo fue tu week, man? I, the whole week was, was great, man. Al, al, yo estaba bien, bien happy de lo que está pasando aquí ahora en Nueva York. Que sigue surgiendo la, la, la cosa en la bachata. Y así dicen está, que, está, que no, que la bachata no está esto, la bachata esto. Está, Van a seguir. Está cogiendo un color sabroso. Ah, sí, yo no, yo no. ¿Tú viste lo que está pasando? Yo vi, ¿tú, tú lo viste antes? ¿Tú viste? Sí, lo estoy viendo. Lo está, está pasando viendo. muchas cosas. Está, muchas está cosas, sabrosa, ¿eh? Se Incluso en lo, el evento que yo estoy tocando, estoy viendo mucha bachata. Ah, eso ¿sí? significa que se va a picar. Sí. Bueno, sepa. bueno, eso significa para ti que tú vas a picar. Para mí bueno, significa sí. que estamos haciendo un trabajo, la comunidad de bachata, que eh, se está trabajando. Y cuando se está trabajando y se organizan bien el, el, lo, los artistas, los músicos, eh, el mercadeo, la industria, se siente. Claro, y también eso se ve que, que en, la unión, en la unión está la fuerza. Yo siempre he dicho eso, ¿tú sabías eso? Que en la unión está la fuerza. Bueno, todo, el mundo, todo el mundo dice que sí, pero en, en, en verdad... En realidad no. Mundo, Ellos te dicen que sí, así. Oh, sí, sí, sí. Mierda, mierda, loco, sí, no, mierda, sí. sí, sí, sí. Y, que, y después, y después que, el juidero. La, la cuchilla por atrás de una vez. Oye, también, pues shout out to everybody que está apoyando el proyecto, porque no sé si ustedes están leyendo los comentarios. Sí, sí no, no, no. Hey, also, shout out. shout out to all the artists that are reaching out. Que quieren venir. Yeah, yeah. They all hey, welcome. Hay una lista de espera. Aguántese. Pero ustedes sí, bien. sí, sí. Hay They algo. all welcome. They all welcome. Everybody's yeah. welcome. Y'all all coming over here. No, y hablando de los comentarios, Anthony, antes de nosotros comenzar en, en lo que es los temas, dándole el agradecimiento a todo el mundo, the comments has been amazing and it's been positive. Whether yeah. people, because again, Aquí es donde tu opinión es solamente tu opinión. Y estamos viendo muchas opiniones diferentes lo que es en los comentarios. Desde el primer episodio al tercero. Que And of course, the, the hate is always going to be there, but if you don't got hate, you're not doing nothing right. Son number one fans. Como, dice, como, dijo, como dijo Romeo, I love my fans. I even love the hate. That's it. It's, it's, just, it's just fact. Pero si leemos todos los comentarios, sea negativo o sí. sea positivo, como quiera, nosotros lo tomamos en cuenta. Y, y estamos ahí, señores. No, no importa. No, no importa. Está no bien. pueden acabar porque de ahí aprender. Claro, everything is a learning experience. I think that everything that we do and, and, and we're trying to do and, and we're really focused on doing y en esta manera y esta calidad y no solamente eso, sino el respeto que tenemos mucho de nuestro comprato. Eh, I can't see the damn word. From a lot, of, a lot of our partners and a, a lot of uh, artists, managers, managers, band members and musicians in the industry. Que no es todo el mundo. El tigre viene, el, no es todo el mundo. El tigre viene de Santo Domingo, se termina de criar aquí y ya de que se le olvidó el español. Ah, de el ya, cho, yo, yo soy nacido y criado aquí, yo con toda la cultura dominicana. Para que sepa algo de mí, está en mi barrio si lo quiere chequear. Ay. Oh, yeah. lo, va, oh, lo va a buscar. Lo va a buscar. Lo va a buscar. Lo va a buscar. Dice que check my bio. Check, check my bio. Check my bro. bio. Oye, te tigre. Oye, te tigre, loco. Pero ven acá. Tú no sabes quién es Smurf. Te voy, te voy a educar a ti ahora. 
Pero bueno, eh. Mucha <risa> vaina, sí. Sí, sí. Ay, Dios, no, But, yo, again, están pasando muchas cosas en, 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 en lo que es el mercado aquí de la bachata. Sí. En esta pasada, do, de, de dos a tres semanas, han visto muchas fiestas. Y muchas, no fiestas solamente, sino cosas con calidad que está llevando la bachata a diferentes niveles. Y yo no sé lo que está pasando, pero aquí todo el mundo está tocando. Ay, mi madre. Todo el mundo está tocando. Hay que... Eh, todo el mundo. Hay, tenemos que seguir así. Tenemos bueno, que seguir ojalá así. Se quede así por muchos sí. años. Man. Mira, yo estaba... Yo creo que... Y, y lo, lo hemos mencionado ya que... Yo creo que yo el insuperable. Ese tigre está... Eh, el tigre del fin. El tigre Los muchachos. Los muchachos. Los muchachos. Tiene un no. tema sabroso que le grabamos. Uy. Pero viene ahora el tema, porque estamos hablando de que está tocando y después viene el tema ahora, Dios mío. Sí, Pero, Anthony, está, dame la pausa ahí, espera, que este tío se me emociona. Estamos en Navidad, estamos en Navidad, yo Ay, no sé. Ay, mi madre. Es más, súbelo, 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 súbelo para que se vaya. Y muy tempranito comenzó el vacilo Un vino la fuerza y un rojo bien contento Sacó de papá y un buen agujero El compadre Pepe bailando con Celina Papito con Duri nací bailó conmigo Recuerdo mi gente lo mucho que vos amó Hasta que escuchamos a mi amiguito macho Estaba en ambiente sentado en un banquito Gritando señores el vecino está contento Se acabó la fiesta ya el vecino está borracho, el vecino está borracho, el vecino prendió un leño, el vecino está borracho, ay mira lo está dando algo, el vecino está borracho, 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 nos fuimos, dice, ey, eso es, eso es, eso es, eso es, eso es, eso es, ya, 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 ya. ¿Sabes lo que me gusta a mí de, de, de Joel y la banda? Y, y los muchachos. Los muchachos. El carisma y la energía que ellos tienen cuando tocan juntos, ellos se gozan todo. No es de que, que coño, yo estoy cobrando. Espera, déjame hacer este trabajo. It's totally different. Yo, it's, it's, a, it's a vibe. Es que eso es lo que pasa cuando tú haces la vaina bien. No, 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 no. no. Claro que este, sí. Te voy a, vamos a aclarar algo ahora mismo. Dime. Porque hay músicos que hacen la vaina bien y no tienen ese carisma, no tienen esa energía porque... Para ellos solamente yo voy a cobrar. Pero obviamente de una persona que sabe lo que quiere y, 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 y tiene el swing. ¿no? Porque yo no, es la no, parte. No, 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 no te estoy hablando de Joel, te estoy hablando de los músicos. Pero es que, el, es que si tú tienes un grupo y el músico no está gozando lo que está tocando, no te va a dar el 100%. Tú nunca lo vas a sentir. Y eso es lo que te estoy diciendo. Tú sabes una cosa. Y entonces sí, lo, los muchachos no del de, grupo de Joel. Sienten y se gozan sí, la vaina entera. Gozan Puede ser el tema más malo del mundo que esté tocando yo él y los tigres se lo gozan. Y tú lo ves así, y ellos todos y coño. Y... Claro. Pero tú sabes que ese problema lo tienen los músicos de aquí. Porque si tú Ajá. ves los videos de todo lo, la mayoría de grupos en Santo Domingo, siempre salen bailando. Tú ves si hay un trompeta allá atrás, dándole free flag, la trompeta. Ese problema es aquí. Que no se mueven ni hacen nada. Porque vuelvo, es lo que yo te estoy tratando de entender hay... a mi cojos, a mi cojos que entienda es que. Hay muchos músicos... Ese grupo que, tiene ese swing. Ya, eh, ya. Eh, que tienen ese swag y se están gozando la vaina. Hay muchos grupos aquí que tú lo vas a ver y son los más aburridos del mundo porque they, they just getting paid. ¿Tú sabes, they don't want to do it. ¿Tú sabes lo que pasa? Dime tú como, tú como músico. Yo como músico. Hay muchos hay mucho que se creen en la película. Hay muchos que se creen en la película. Ah, sí, tú dijiste, fue. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay. oh okay. Yo no gagué. Es que hay muchos que se creen en la película. Entonces, oye... ¿Qué es lo que dice? Vámonos a los términos de los hombres, ¿no es verdad? ¿Qué dicen los hombres? No un, bueno, la mayoría, por lo menos yo, en mi opinión. No es una cosa más linda que tú ves una mujer que linda, o sea, que tú dices, coño, la tipa es linda y humilde. True. Yeah. Tú dices, oye, un 100. El final. El final, porque la tipa es humilde. Entonces, igual que el músico. El músico, tú puedes ser duro. Pero no es una cosa más linda que tú encontres un músico que sea humilde a la misma vez. No, y que, eh, vuelvo y digo, es er, er, er humilde go y gozarse todo, porque... Porque es la música yo que visto, yo, 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 yo salgo, y cuando yo más salgo ver <risa> ahora los lo bachateros, es para eso mismo, ver el carisma y ver, y ver que ellos traen en tarima. Yo he visto músicos que son así, con una carota, 
Ahí, no, o así sí, con, sí. Una, con una maldita, una maldita ahí. No, pero, so, I, I could curse here, right? Saludo, yeah. saludo, no, hijo, ya. esa parte de humilde, saludo a Guillermo Conga. Rompió, hey, no, muy duro. Guillermo rompió en ese tema. Que siempre ah, rompe, ah, siempre ah, rompe. Y, y Guillermo está ahí, pero, pero, no, me dado, no me había dado cuenta, ¿no? Guillermo está ahí. <risa> a, mí me, a mí me llamaron, de que llamaron la ciudad y cosas, porque Guillermo estaba rompiendo el piso y bueno, está temblando todo allá. <risa> No, Guillermo está ahí, Guillermo no. está ahí, Guillermo. Pero bueno. Oye, romp... Siempre, como siempre. Pero bueno, un claro, saludo Guillermo a los muchachos. Guillermo. Ya, Guillermo, Guillermo Duro. Pero sí. ya un saludo a, a Joel Insuperable y al sí. equipo nuevo que tiene de manejo. Señor, niño Star. Niño Star. Ah, los muchachos. Los muchachos. Muchacho. <ríe> eh, y, y esa banda otra vez, que sigan trabajando y sigan sí. metiendo manos. Vi, vi el antenirario, tiene como siete, ocho fiestas ya. Se está, eh, se se está se, se, picando. Se, sí. Eh, otro que estaba picando ahí a los callados y cosas y nada más dice... No, Smurf, está tranquilo. El señor óptimo. Ya, usted tiene que ir a mano. Yo no entiendo. Está tocando, está tranquilo. Yo, yo no entiendo. Yo no. Está tranquilo. FDO, mano. For the ladies. Y se está cobrando bien. No, ahí está. Óptimo, con la próxima fiesta, dónala al show aquí, a Bachatería Podcast, para traer la uno, Oye, hay uno por ahí que se está buscando la funda. Tú le calladito. Ah, él nada más se sonríe. Dice, la muchacha. Ajá, la muchacha. Eh, no, no, trabajando. Trabajando. El, Incluso, el, el, espérate, me el, dijeron que lo ofrecieron de otro lado. Él dijo que no. Ay. ¿De qué? ¿Eh? ¿Qué fue? Pero yo, yo ¿Con no, qué? Pues ¿Qué? yo no dije. Yo, que le ofrecieron algo bueno, al, bueno, al director bueno, al director bueno eso que lo pagó que fue eh, oh, gritó okay, gritó no. rápido te diste ah, cuenta ah visto de una vez ¿Cómo, cómo yo de una vez qué fue está cagueando <risa> sí de una vez dame guía matico espera ah, espera sí vamos, <risa> vamos ya yo estoy tranquilo entonces estoy tranquilo. Eh, quién quién más tocó eh, eh. quién más quién quién más mira yo yo voy a mencionar esto y no me gusta mencionar pero hubo un performance grandioso en lo que es el eh, Lincoln Center uh, sí. Sí, hablen hablen sí, ustedes de que ustedes estaban ahí. Eh, fue una Yuri, Santos. Yuri Santos. Rompió. Like always. That's nothing Rompió. new. No, not like always, because people, people don't know it, though. Pero espérate. They Besides that, they no, look it up. yo estaba allá. Ajá. Incluso me desmonté de un avión y tuve que coger derechito para allá. Ajá. Ahí oh, habían blanquitos. Claro, blanquitos. <laughs> <Blanquito. Sí. laughs> ahí <laughs> había, oye, <laughs> habían blanquitos. Yo vi Ajá. chino. Y, o incluso había un DJ, si no creo que de dónde era, de Italia, algo de así. Israel vino Israel, el, 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 el DJ Paco. Vino a ver el show. Yeah. It was very international. Y la gente oye bailando bachata. Mejor. Yo no sé oye, bailar, yo no sé bailar bachata, pero muy bien. Oye, bailando. ¿Cómo sabes bailar bachata? Este muchacho no sabe bailar bachata. Con una, con una gorra de las águilas y tú no sabes. No, el tigre no sabe bailar. El sombrero. Ay. <ríe> pero se, se, se dio. <ríe> y, y, pero no, y en el shout out. I was surprised viendo chino bailando bachata. Yeah, Mejor man. que un dominicano. Es, es que yeah. la, la bachata es mundial. La, la, la bachata. That show, yeah, that show eso, was very international. Very, very. Eso, y como estamos so, diciendo, Yuri, rompió, como siempre. Eso sí. to, sol, sorprende, pero no sorprende. Sorprende porque como quiera, tú no lo ves todos los días. O tú, un chino, de que, bailando bachata, y dices, wow. Yeah, pues yeah, mira yeah, hasta crazy. dónde hemos llegado. Oye, no. y la gente, eh, Yuri bajándose de tarima, y la gente todavía entrando por la puerta. Y tirando todavía. su pila yeah. de foto. Y tirando y, su foto. Y, y, ay, mi madre. Yo estaba loco ese día, sí, pero yo estaba, yo, yo estaba de, de, de gerente. Pero, eh, shout out to, to, to Judy. She is the second, la, la segunda bachatera en tocar en el Lincoln Center. Nice. Punto final. Who was the first one? Andrea fire. Veloz. Okay. Nice. Andrea Veloz. Fire. So, and, you know, Andrea is, is, is fire. She's unique. Yeah. She's more, she does bachata, but she's more of a, a, a complete. Um, she does bachata, she does merengue. She does her own, her own style. She does Bohemia. She does a, a lot of the stuff. How many bachatero artists have had the chance to play there? Eh, it's, just, it's only them two, right? It's only them two. Wow. Only that's them that's, two. That's something, that's, that's something that you definitely got to applaud. Yeah, yes. man. Definitely. So, so when it comes down to reaching new new stages and for the bachata, and again, estamos sonando en muchos lados, y el género está sonando, y no solamente para los bachateros, sino para las mujeres. Women is still going through it to be able to be accepted in the, y, in, y in the game. Ella, y lo que ella hizo en CBXM, eso hay que Ah, hablar, no, también. también. No, pero eso, eso no se habló ya. Ay, mi madre. Pero que no, después me dicen que no, que este es el, el, el podcast no, de Chiri Santo y cosas. Y, ¿Y este podcast de qué? De, de, de bachatería. De, ah, de, no, bueno. de bachata, eso hay que... Hay, hay que, que aplaudirlo. Lo, lo, lo que cada artista hace. Mira, y, y un shout out a, a Brian eh, de Series XM, que él está llevando el género a su estudio, a su plataforma y apoyando donde, donde el más puede. No ha sido todo cualquier bachatero que puede ir allá y a grabar. Por ejemplo, el último que fue allá fue Elvin Martínez. ¿Me entiendes? Ha ido eh, Elvin Martínez, estaba Yuri, estaba eh, 
eh, Ralphie Dreams fue allá que lo llevaron allá. Luis Gerard, Valga pasa por ahí también. Luis, Luis Valga, Fran Reyes, Zacarías. It, it's only been high level mm -hmm, exactly. artists in, in, the, in that capacity. Entonces, él le da el apoyo a las personas que lo ve que están trabajando y que pueden llegarle a, la, a su audiencia. Because they're very pip, they're very selective. Es, es yes. muy importante para they que, very, very selective. Es muy importante para lo que el movimiento de Nueva York. No, y, y, y mundialmente también, because Serious Fan ya, ya no es solamente sí. Nueva York, sino mundial. Shout out to the plug, they got. Y fue con la Depende. banda entera. Eh, sí, shout, eh, shout, sí out to, una... shout out to the plug, porque me llegó la grabación el mismo día. Ay, <laughs> ay, 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 no, es que tenemos... A mí no me la han dado todavía. Ay, mi madre. Ah, ¿Cuánto hay? Ay, <laughs> Está bien tremendo. Pero soy yo, <risa> tremendo, sal de ese Tremendo. Tremendo. O te compro una hamburguesa doble con tocino. <risa> con, con la Pepsi. Eh. Con la no, Pepsi. La Pepsi. No, la Pepsi. Pe hey, no, no, shout, out, shout out to, to Judy Santos, uh, sound engineer, que es tremendo. Tremendo. Sí. Tremendo. Habibi Sound. Sue it, sue it. Ese tigre no coge pela con nadie, no coge, no coge, pique, no coge uno pique del DH, pero el, el, shout out. Es Habibi Mequilla a veces. No, no, no pero el tigre es... Y ya te con él para que te dejen mute. Ay, muchachos. No, de una vez, está muteado. <risa> a lo que tú quieras. Yeah. Eh, Pero nada, eh, seguimos más lo que está pasando en el género. Eh, hay un par de temas que han salido nuevos. Ay, sí. Sí, hay, hay, uno, hay, hay, hay uno. Yo, the, the floor is yours, bro. You want to go ahead and introduce? Hay uno que me gusta mucho. De mi hermano Carlito Rosé. Ah, Ay, quiero ser tu, quiero neg ser. tu negro, verdad, mami. Tu negro, mami. Se llama La Verdad. Dame da, 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 un ching ahí. Dame da, da, da un ching ahí. Dame la miúa a este muchacho. Tu negro, mami. Yo, for, for me, he's, he's, he's one of the best singers, singers, singers in Bachata, point blank. Lo que es singer, I'm talking about singers, cantante de que llegan, porque, porque hay una diferencia entre el cantante y tú ser bachatero, ¿verdad? Que eso lo, eso lo hablamos sí. anteriormente. But this thing, this thing is just at another level, bro. Y te da el flow de bachata también. Eh, pues por eso mismo, el, el, el sentimiento, te tigre. He just need one, one song. I think this is it. Ta, ta, se está trabajando. Once, 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 once. Se está trabajando. Da, eh, diverse. Eh, diverse, mira. Ah. No. no Manny es ese mamá. Lo todo. Manny es mamá. Lo he es ese. ¿Tú sabes que me recuerda? Toby. He's more... He, he, actually, he's a little he bit more mamá. traditional. ¿Qué él te recuerda a Toby? Hell no. He's more traditional than Toby. Believe it or not. He's more... more Hell vocally. Hell no, bro. But... Es que no, Carli, no, Carlito es un cantante... You know, he sings. Cal Carlito. Toby's, de Toby's different. Yeah, Toby, Toby. Toby could, yo, Toby's an R&B flow, but... El problema es que no puedo hacer con Toby. Yeah. Que él estaba muy adelantado el tiempo. People always. Were, people always. Were ready for always. They, they still well, not ready. They listen to his music now and they still not ready for that. 
Nigga, have you listened to Sex with My Ex? Oh my God. <laughs> yo, Smith, but. Yo, his, yo, his, his arrangement. You know, it's crazy. Like logo. It's, it's crazy. It's like, <laughs> and his vocal, just his vocals? His logo is crazy. And, and nobody do vocals like he does. Nah, his vocals is on point, bro. His vocals on Vocals point. and background and everything and the way he makes it big and stuff, for me, honestly, is him, Judy, and I'm not talking about Romeo and Royce. That's, that's just, I don't know, the left one. But in lo comparte, like cuando, on, on cuando, se graba, cuando se graba, and all those vocals behind it, and how they make it big like that, that's why they need two coritas when they do it live. Because no es fácil. But going back to this track, si lo trabaja. Está ah, bueno, está hey, bueno. Hey, no, no, tre tremendo tema. Escrito por, por Carlito, y, bueno, nosotros lo llamamos Carlito, de, 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 de cariño. Eh, produced by, by Luigi, Luigi yeah, well, Music. Luigi is fire. Luigi. Sí, ese disco se oye muy Luigi's bien. Dope, really, man. Luigi is dope, Luigi, Luigi. Luigi is really dope. Like, he has a... He has a mix. He, he has, has a, a mix of, of, of Lenny, but with the traditional chaval, with the... Sí, sí. Con, con ese grajo. Sí, pero, what is... The most beautiful thing about that, that it sounds fresh. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. like okay, I, I can hear your inspiration because every musician is like that. Yeah. You hear that inspiration in that instrument, but what matters is that que tú le pones flow to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it makes it sound refreshing. Yeah. It, what do what we do? Again, it's... A mí me da vibes de, de, de Lenny, me da vibes de, 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 lo, de, de lo tradicional, me da vibes todo, pero está en una mezcla bien... Is there the mix and the way he tr he transitions from it? El machu, yeah, el machu, yeah, como suena así estrellado. Yeah, but Luigi, Luigi viene una vieja escuela de de allá de Santo Domingo, eh. Que vuelvo y digo, los músicos de Santo Domingo es y buen bajita, no, el choque, ese es el hombre mío. Yo llamo, güey, no puedo con otro, ayúdame ahí. No, ¿cuánto hay? Cúbreme, no, yo le pago bien, yo le pago bien. Ah, ok, espérate, pero en audio me cobra bien. No, muchachos, tú ves, dejen esos chismes, dejen esos chismes después. Eso está volando. Después, no, ahorita, ahorita me llama, oh shit, espérate, pero. Están llamando Dico, por ahí. Tico, ya, tico, ya me está tirando. Dime. Hey, yo, man, what the fuck you talking about prices, nigga? What the fuck, nigga? What the fuck, nigga? You talking about prices, nigga? Don't talk about business. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, vamos allá. Hay otro tema que nuevo que salió. And this one's, this one's a little, um, I've heard in, in my personal opinion. Um, and, and, and we'll discuss it right after we listen to it. Gotcha. Se llama eh, Yami. Ella sacó saco un tema. Yami, she dope. Eh, otra femenina, femenina sacando bachata y, y empujando lo que es la cultura Dando la cara. y se llama sí y se llama me gusta así que vamos a, vamos a escuchar un ching y después dialogamos un ching ahí vamos Mira. es ya mí ¿Tú se lo da todo? No. Él dice el cariño que ella le da sí, todo. Tú me gusta mucho. No, te dice que el qué, cómo, que tú me gusta mucho, que yo te, no. yo te doy el qué. Te lo doy ah. todo. Mi cuenta de banco, bay. <ríe> so, ese, ese nuevo tema, eh, a mí me da un ching, y estábamos hablando de todo earlier, eh, el, el, un flow de, de, ¿qué fue lo que me dijo antes? La suegra. De la suegra. And it's a good, it's good, it's a good idea, I think... Um, la letra y la cosa. I think people, la mujer is not ready for it. But what's the original to this? There's an original to this. No, song. no, that, that's original. No, no. She wrote it. The song, that's what she wrote, pero la música es como another song. Eh, 
es que es Davidcito es Paredes, que so, ese es el de Last Traditional Field. Es un clásico. Un Leonardo Paniagua, más o menos. Es un, 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 un flow clásico, entonces, ¿me entiendes? Cuando viene bachata de flow clásica, sí. En verdad, incluso si no me equivoco, la mayoría es un paquero de la versión de la versión de la versión. Yeah. Pero que okay, it's yeah. it sounds similar, but that el arreglo is not it's not a remake. No, no, I know, I know you saying. But, but it, it sounds, sounds it sounds similar, similar oh, to yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Vamos al grano. ¿Qué tú dices, Anto? No sé, para decirte la verdad. Yeah or nay. Mm. But esto uh, uh, recuerda sin sin miedo, esto es donde tu opinión, no, no, tu opinión. I'm gonna be honest with you, not on my not on your playlist as a DJ. Play, yeah. yeah. Okay. Smart. No, eh para mí es un, un gusto totalmente diferente. I'm, I'm not used to it. And I need to get used to listening to it more. Ya me está trabajando y el video, ella, she brought a lot of influencers and the marketing and stuff. And, stuff. and ya, yeah, lo que es mucho que suena bien allá atrás, mano. Muchacha. Bueno, bueno, Aparte, mire, fue Ate, como malicia. Fue. Eh, eh, salud, muchachos. Eh, estoy pichado, mano. Dame estoy otro. pichado, pichado, Mama. pichado. Vamos a una página. Al el cubo. Va, ¿cómo es? Va, va a seguir. André, André. El, el sol. sol. Señores, lo que yo tengo que lidiar aquí. Sí, Oye, le sí. hace eh, mucho, está trabajando con eh, el eh, Sí, no, no rompieron. Eh, venga, también. vamos, venga. Leche, un yo estoy manejando. Y yo también. Ahorita salgo yo doblado. Nah, le echamos la culpa a Nucho. A Nucho. No, no, no. No, no, please, no, no, please, no. please drink please responsibly. Drink responsibly. <laughs> you gotta be 18 years old. No, no 21. To drink alcohol. Yeah, I was drinking since I was 13, bro. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no, you, they, don't, they don't know that. <laughs> Anyways, know guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, anyway, back to the song. Ba back to the song. Yeah, so, the song. Yeah, so I, I, I think que, que se, se está trabajando un color totalmente diferente. It, it does sound like La Suegra. Um, not my cup of tea, honestly. Uh, but sigue trabajando, sigue metiendo mano. Ya, mi, que you're one of them que, que, que sigue está trabajando. Ya está trabajando. Está trabajando. Está trabajando. Es importante. Que, que lo importante. So, uh, kudos to you again. Not my cup of tea, y, and I'll tell you, and, I, and, I, and I'll tell your management as well. Uh, pero uh, Smurf es un fodón, mano. De tigre, mano, eh. Cuando no. Pa, pa mí, no, ¿cómo que cuando no? <laughs> yo, no, esto me tenía loco a mí con, con este muchacho ahorita. Pero seguimos. Eh, van ya, las tres canciones ya las recomendamos, no, ¿verdad? No, falta una más. No, falta va, una la más. de Joel. ¿Tú te me adelantaste con Joel? No. Y tú dijiste la de Yami. Ahora falta la, una más. No, la de Carlos Rosa ya lo tocamos. La verdad. No. Ese la nucho, verdad. ¿Cómo ese que? Ese oh, nucho está bueno. Ay, pásame Nucho, ven. Ese nucho ven. está bueno. <risa> ¿Tú quieres que te parta la cabeza? <risa> este muchacho está agresivo. So, pero mira, y lo, lo, lo de Joel, no, no es, es un bachata arengue, señores, que es una diferencia. Sí. No es típico, es bachata arengue y la diferencia de eso lo vamos a dialogar en un futuro. Sí, porque un futuro, la gente sí. se... Están como Fernandito, la gente, sí. Confundido. Exacto. Pero estamos en Navidad, salsa para tu lechón. Exacto. Eso es lo importante. I, I love the, 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 the Christmas spirits. I, I, my favorite month is December. I love Listen, the whole Christmas thing. Some, something that I was actually discussing with my family. I was with my, with my brother. You know, my brother's a, a music maniac. Yeah, yeah. El, my, my professor. Shout out, shout out to Matt. Well, nobody knows him as Matt, though. Shout out to my brother, David. Uh, my he teacher. Me yesterday. Yeah, my teacher in educating me in lo que es reading credits, understanding what musicians recorded, yeah. understanding the songs, understanding the musicality. And understanding the swag of, of, of bachata in a whole he, different he, level. I like, talk, I like talking to him, man. Yo, like, he's, he, no, he, no todo el mundo que lo entiende. Eh, sí, se ve que le he enredado. Él, ah, sí. <laughs> y <laughs> él, él y yo, no, no, él y yo nos matamos. We don't, <laughs> diablo, hasta me doy. That's that we brotherly, do, that's that's that yo, we do not agree on 90% of the yeah. stuff. It happens, it be like it, that. But when it comes down to stuff, again, he's my teacher. En bachata, eso fue que me enseñó a mí, de verdad. Él me tiró ayer y me dijo, yo, como me hizo un par de preguntas, como mm. tú sabes, musicalmente y vaina. Y yo de loco, dedication and consistency is there. No, no, and, and he's, he's developing his musicality, tocando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pero hablando de eso y hablando de, 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 de crédito y and, and giving credit to, to, to your team, I think que eso no se ve. It's only a few bachateros that, that are doing that. Y hablando de tema nuevo y hablando de... De artistas nuevos en el género. En verdad, no. Eh, yo, yo quiero, y, y tenemos el placer de, de verdad, de invitarlo aquí. Y yo tuve el, el placer de compartir con él. Y es una de las personas que está apoyando la bachata. No solamente la de él, sino la del resto de, de, de la comunidad bachatera. Y yo dije que íbamos a hacer y traer, sola, no solamente los lo grandes, sino los que están trabajando no solamente también. solamente los grandes, también los locales, los que están metiendo mano en lo que es la ciudad de Nueva York. Exacto. So, queremos dar la invitación ahora mismo al artista, al bachatero, Fría. Frías. 
Yeah, boy. Uy, 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 hablando de música nueva, no, pero no podemos comenzar la vaina así sin darle una vaina bien a fría, porque no, no, hay, que darle, no, fría, hay, hay que darle una fría, a fría, a fría. Hay que darle una fría. Vamos, vamos a darle una nucho aquí a fría, una fría. Coge la de ahí que tú estás mejor posición que yo siempre. <risa> wow, wow, este tigre está este tigre. Pensado. Dios mío, eh, salud y bienvenido Dios. a Bachatería salud, Podcast. Salud, 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 salud. 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 Donde tu casa es tu casa y tu opinión es tu opinión. Aquí y tú solamente tienes... tu opinión, ¿eh? Sí, aquí caso. siempre delay. Eh, delay allí atrás, aquí siempre. Aquí tú tienes una voz, mi hermano. Sí. Coño, yo, bienvenido. Muchísimas gracias, yo. First of all, before we even get into it, man, I wanted to say thank you guys for having me here. Uh, yeah, and allowing yeah. me to be in this space. Yo soy fanático de la bachata. Soy yeah. bachatero, pero también I'm a fan. Uh, Smurf and I see you guys have played big roles in bachata. Uh, from management and executive things, as well as playing live and being a musician. And I love this podcast. I love what you guys are doing. And I respect that this is a real bachata podcast. It's not a chisme meetup. This is not... Yeah. No BS. This is a place where people get to come and talk about music and talk about memories and learn. I was watching a few of the episodes and I was learning from you guys. So thank you for having me here. Yeah, bro. Yeah, let's have a name. Oye, oye, oye. Espera, espera. Sonó bonito, but damn, you're making me feel old. Smurf. Yo, for <laughs> real, bro. Mucho también, escúchame. Smurf. Dime. Voy a confesar. Dime. Yo al principio, dije, coño, fría, pero coño, no conocía mucho de él. Pero el tigre se sabe manejar. Sí. sí. El tigre está bien. Va bien, va bien. Él va, 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 va bien. No, no, él va bien. Va bien. Sigue, oye, lo sigue ahí. Oye, lo voy a chancear, va bien. Lo, lo, no, lo vamos, chan, vamos a chancearlo, sí. No, él va él bien. Está como él se llama, él está frío. Él está frío, está, está bien. Está, está no, frío, por eso ya. que se llama frías. No, ok, ya. Yeah. No, pero mira, honestly, for me, it's... it's Coming from an artist that has been... And, and, and a follower of the podcast, and you saying those words to us, means, means that we're doing something right. Yeah. We're, our goal here is to actually educate the community not only the the, the young and the, and the old people that want to hear the the retro stuff but also educating the new of course the new generation on course, how man. it really happened how we really blew up and what steps y el esfuerzo que nosotros no matamos yeah right. para poder llevar a la bachata donde está ahora Love. ejemplo este este podcast y y es algo que a mí me conmueve y gracias por tu palabra y bueno yo vuelvo te digo like it's this is your home Whenever you want to come by, and I just hope you're ready because we, como digo, nuestra opinión es solamente no tu, no opinión, pero te la vamos a dar. Uh -huh. Te la vamos a dar. Uh -huh. You're gonna give our opinion, uh, yeah. but you know, no es en forma de que acabaste, de que no, que tú no estás, no. Es sí, simplemente no, no. la crítica de la gente. De Construction criticism. Maestro, ah, sí. por el gusto se hicieron los colores. Exacto. Ah, y hay no, mucho. I'm, yeah, yeah, no, no and, and bro, I grew up in an environment. Uh, you know, with music and church. And yeah. so in that environment, you're, you're around people who are playing and learning new things every week that are on their toes learning new things. And they're... Yeah. Church musicians are some of the best musicians they in music. Oh, oh, no. That discipline, that that discipline is, is crazy. I've had, yeah, I've had to learn, like, niggas telling you to your face, like, yo, you suck. Like, that wasn't good. And how yeah. to bite it and yeah. use it to build yourself. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's something that a lot of people, because of social media... And um, having so much access to give their opinion, people haven't learned. People have learned how to give criticism, but not receive it. And like, you know, oh, that's a, big, that, that's a that's great a point. Big, that's a yeah. big problem, bro. Yeah. Because I don't know what the hell happened, but everybody turns sensitive. Bro. Yo, you can't oh, say like, nothing. I mean, everybody hey, turns I'm sensitive. sorry. No me mire mal, because then you're disrespecting me. Tengo que mandar la policía y la vaina, because. I'm sensitive. The cancel culture. That, that, that's it's a, sensitive. What is, sensitive what, what is the cancel culture? The cancel culture. What, what, what the <laughs> hell? You can't even go to Wendy's and buy a burger because it's, you're canceling culture? That's, that's a, a whole different thing. perfect example. There's no such thing as a comedian anymore. Because comedians Ooh. can't say whatever the hell they, they want. Can't say, yeah, no, yeah. they can. Yeah. Bro, well, Dave Chappelle can. <laughs> Dave yeah, Chappelle yeah, actually he proved, is the man. He proved that's that's the man. He's the man. That's, but that's he's, a, he's a goat. He's a goat. Yeah. That's different. But yeah. that's why I respect him a lot. There's a quote that says, um, if you want to tell people the truth, and not get killed, you have to make them laugh. And so Dave Chappelle is like the perfect example of that, of like, I'm gonna tell you guys the things that I think, the things that I see that are wrong, pero lo voy a decir de una manera that sounds so educated and so funny 
that y'all niggas can't be mad at me. You're gonna have to laugh. Coño, te tigre inteligente, te tigre me cae bien a mí, madre. Te tigre, te tigre. Va bien, va bien, with the quotes and the thing. Ahora mismo él me tiene como tremendo. Mew. 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 Yo estoy okay. sorprendido, pero yo no sabía el chin de él. Yo no sabía, no. Porque el chance era así, no me supe, like, you know, in events, a performance. Yeah, high and, and by. Eh, eso es high que lo que es, estoy chilling, estamos fríos, heavy. Pero ahora no. el tigre me está demostrando que sí, que el tigre no es un loco. No, 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 un loco, no. no. And, y, loco. Y, y vamos a entrar en detalle de eso, porque we're going to keep it, like, we're going to we're gonna go, we're going to go in we're deep and talk, understand, and understand who is free as, where you come from. Why you decided? Why the hell you because you decided to become a bachatero? Oh man, but we got but 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 and his inspirations, his inspirations, well. right, right. So I yeah. want to start. I want to start the first question, right, ahead, and then, then you and then you lead on, Nancy. La and then Anthony, tú me dices. Dale, que la pista es tuya. Ay, ¿quién es ese? Romeo, ay dios. Ay dios oh, mío, yeah. yo no sabía eso. No, pues está bien. Okay. Ay la morena, que la pista es tuya. Where you said that? Yeah, where? <laughs> I got I got a lot of his life verifica, 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 verifica. because uh, it's in his God's, pro verifica, it's in his God's project album. I think it's the uh, oh oh un chichi no un chichi yeah, sí. un okay chichi. baila morena pues pero, pero que tú, tú la cantaste medio medio rara ahí gaté, no estaba entonado no estaba entonado no que lo gaté, gaté, gaté lero. no 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 el baila morena y, eh, habla como un hombre oye Ay, pero More pero estaba imitando y, a y Romeo Cállate. <risa> de, después de la última conversación que tuvimos de la cosa de Miriam Cruz, como que no sé. Sí, 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 como que sé. Seguimos. No, estamos con frías. Señores, estamos aquí con frías. El santo. <risa> gozando, estamos gozando. Estamos gozando. Frías, so. <risa> yo lo... <risa> con este tigre, hermano. Dios mío. You see what I gotta go through, frías? No, es que estoy viendo. Está, está viendo, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, Pero bueno, ya. Yeah. Seguimos con un no, o sea, ¿no? Que todo. Sano, loco. Este tigre, sano, I love these guys. Sano, eh, pero, ok, frías. I, I, got your, yo, I got your biography. I got, I got everything. But I, I'm, we're not like that, just following a whole thing. Right. So, you're from New York. From, I was born in Brooklyn, raised in Queens. Ok, what part of Brooklyn, what part of Queens? So, when my family came from DR in the 70s, they all moved to Bushwick, Brooklyn. Okay, the old train, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's yeah. in Bush. Yeah, 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 everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's in Bush. Bush yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So I was born there, and my grandmother had a salon that she then gave to my mother. My dad, my papa, worked in a carniceria in Bushwick. So I, I grew up in Bushwick. Even when I moved to Queens, I always tell people I'm from Bushwick because even when we moved to Queens, I went to school in Brooklyn. I had to go back to my mom's salon. Or if okay. I was with my dad, I had to be with him in the carniceria. Yeah, yeah. So I, I grew up in Bushwick, really. Okay, okay. Oh, and then cool. what part of Queens? Ozone Park. Close to Far Rockaway. Yeah, el va de, de, de Guatemala. <laughs> what the no, 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 Ozone Park is better. I'll yeah, tell you the better. truth, bro. Brooklyn, Queens, I don't know crap. I do. You from the Bushwick? From I'm from the Bronx, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I but Bushwick, 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 Bushwick is dangerous because when I was in Queens, in Corona, I, I used to go work in a supermarket and pack bags. Because they didn't have a lot No, 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 no. <laughs> gracias a Dios. Mira, gracias a Dios, no. Gra gracias a Dios. Pero la Bushwick. Nevada ya en Bushwick. La suerte que él es rápido. La suerte que él es rápido. Tú, que corre mucho. <laughs> sí, imagínate que la gente chiquita tiene... We gotta have one thing. We're not tall, but we can run. <laughs> they can run. They can run. <laughs> That's it, right? Yo. Um, but okay, dale al so, no so, so, uh, so pretty much, what made you get into bachata? I understand you come, your roots is from there. Uh huh. So, ¿qué te hizo a ti decidí, déjame hacer bachata? Exactly, because coming from Bushwick, you could have been a rapper. So, <laughs> on tipiquero. Okay. On tipiquero. <laughs> no, no, no tipiquero. Yo, tipico. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to so, Chico. ¿Qué te hizo so, a ti? Shout out to Chico, tipico urbano. Tipico urbano. Henny, Henny's the man. Henny's the man. Henny's the man. Henny, Henny's the man. Henny shout out so, to you, bro. Yeah, shout out to you always, So, bro. full story or short story? Man, yeah, short like me, bro. Do you, bro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Do you. Um, <laughs> all right, so if I were to resume it, yo escribí mi primer canción cuando yo tenía 10 años. Después, mi familia, my grandparents were church planters, and my mom was a youth pastor. So I grew up in church my whole life. Cuando yo Catholic, tenía, Christian. Cristiano, cristiano. So yeah. tú eras eras tabla, eh? yo, you know, rompe tabla a mí? No, no, they weren't Pentecostal. Oh, okay. Uh, well, actually, when I grew up, eran Pentecostal. Okay. See, ahora, non-denominational is like a more like, hey, we're normal, but we love Jesus. Oh, Non-denominational is like more 
chill people that they, could, they could be normal, yeah. you know. But anyway, so I'm learning everything. Every, we're learning everything new. here in Machateria. Always, yeah. let's go. And thoughts it. Uh, when I was like 13 years old, man, I had a, a really crazy experience with God. And I, I figured out at that age that I was like, man, I believe in God for myself, not because of my parents, not because of my grandparents. Mm -hmm. It no longer was something forced. It was something that I was like, this is real to me. So I used to love rapping. Mm -hmm. And at 13 years old, there was this big church in Queens called Christ Tabernacle. They had a group called Misfit. It was the biggest youth group in the East Coast of the United States. Listen, okay. on Friday nights, they would have a thousand teenagers outside of the church waiting to get in on Friday nights. You can Google this, Misfit NYC, look it up. It was the biggest youth mm -hmm. church on the East Coast of the United States. My sister's friends from high school mm -hmm. were leaders there. And so she told them, hey, my little brother wants to go to church. He loves rapping. You know, can you take him under your wing? And there was this guy who was like, yeah, tell him to come on Tuesdays. Boom, so I started rapping in church, and I before I ever put a song out, I started performing in church in front of a thousand people on Fridays. Okay. So wow. I learned how to perform on rapping, and then a lot of famous Christian rappers used to go to perform at that church. Right. So when I was about 16 years old, I started putting out my own music. Y un grupo en la música cristiana que estaba, que está pegado todavía, they called Social Club, they saw me and my boy rapping. And they were like, yo, we want you to write for us, whatever. So at 16, I started writing music for okay. Christian artists. Oh, oh, wow. And I start, yeah, bro, I got to write for this really big artist named Toby Mack. That he's like the Justin Timberlake of Christian music. And okay. I got to Because it's another world, too. No, it's a, it's a, that's a, that's, that's, world, yo, that's a and, and, they, and, and they don't charge eh, la adoraciones, pero las adoraciones son grandes. No, yeah, they're, 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 that's a multi-million. Well, donat the donations are big, The bro. music Dude. business side of Christian music is a multi-million dollar industry. I would say it's even in the hundred millions. So why not go that route? So I was there, and I think if I would have been doing Christian hip-hop until now, I would have already been pegado. So what, what called you into the bachata? Okay, boom. So this is a little crazy. Not a lot of, this is like primicia. This is gotcha. like bachateria. I heard it first. Yeah. When I was 18... I wanted to do music, but I wanted to be a youth pastor. So I went to the best, not the best, one of the best Christian colleges to become a youth pastor. I went to Sydney, Australia. So Damn. I was studying in Australia. And while I was in Australia, or, or right before I went to Australia, I met Zay from Lois Aidas. Yeah. yeah. So this is in 2017. I meet Zay from Lois Aidas and I felt- Darkness. Like, they call yeah, him darkness, the darkness now. The darkness now. Yeah. I had, a, yeah. <laughs> I had a crazy experience with bachata in DR that year prior to going to college. I went, for, I went to DR every summer my whole life. Mm -hmm. But that summer when I was 17, I was old enough to go out. Mm -hmm. So I fell in love for the first time. It wasn't just like going to my grandparents' house. I fell in love with DR. And the music. Cayó. Cayó. Desde que probó un chin la calle, dijo por aquí. Cayó. Ya, Dios mío, ya. Por aquí, Yo me enamoré de la República Dominicana, de mi cultura, de mis raíces. Por primera vez pude andar con los primos míos. Fui para la playa, fui a bailar. I was hanging out with my cousins. Bebiste. Remember. Ah, verdad. Oye, oye, no, chamaquito, no. So. The soundtrack, no, the soundtrack that was playing everywhere I went was bachata. And so I heard we broke the rules top to bottom for the first time. And I was mm -hmm. like, nah, bachata is what I want to do. So I go to college. Long story short, man, I go to college. And while I'm out there, I had to make a decision. I was like, man, I really want to do music. I want to do bachata. Yeah. Yeah. But I also want to work in church. And... Over time, I was able to make the decision, like, man, I think the thing that I should be doing is making music. See, no, no, they, no, it's not, it's not, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. No, not that it's not allowed, because church is a lot different than what it was for people back then. Church has changed a lot now. It was more okay. so, it was more so the idea that um, I want to be able to, I think I wanted to be a youth pastor for the wrong reasons. I think I wanted to be on stage. And uh, if you become a pastor and your desire is to be on stage and not to yeah. pour into people, you started off on the wrong foot. Because that's where you started. Yeah, and, and that's in that stage. Yeah. So yeah. you fell in love with the stage, with the performance and everything. Yeah. So you decided to go to Bachata, you learned your roots, you went out. And he listened to, we broke the rules. We broke the rules. Trató un chin de brugal. 
Eh, se fue en desacato por ahí. Ya, ¿De qué parte tú eres, Santo? De Moca, Moca. De Moca, oye. Ah, de Moca, no hay. De, mo, de Moca. Si va a hablar. De Moca se fue para Santiago. It's a rap. Y cogió la y línea. Y, y ya. Y mi papá es de la capital, but I spent most of my summers in Moca. Y ya tú, el tipo yeah. se desacató. Ay, Mocano. I gotta give credit too to JR, man. I heard it there, no, my senior year of high school in 2017. Yeah. And oh. we broke Ay. the rules, Ay. made me love bueno. bachata, but Eterno made me want to do bachata. Uf. Oh, Uf. Yo, Ete Eterno, that, that album. Ese CD, ese álbum, ya, porque. Yo. En, en, Sh en shout out to Jay. Shout out to Jay. Oh, it's bro. Aquella okay, vez Smurf me cocoteó de que no, que ya no se hacen CD. Está bien. Shout out to JR, que muy pronto va a estar aquí con nosotros sí. también. Oye, ese álbum de, de JR Eterno. Uf. Loco, a mí me gusta. Since the first song to the ending of, of Yo, the album. You, you enjoy it, bro. It, bro, it, and it's, the, the and album is fire. Marcó, loco, marcó una evolución en la bachata because after Eterno, a lot of people started making darker bachatas. Explain, explain darker. Explain uh, that. What explain do you mean darker? darker? JR's sound is, is I, I don't even know how, okay. to, how to like describe it, but Because I can't debate that. Who yeah, was well, dark? I mean, Gene's album I'm was produced right by Zay. I'm gonna tell you right now. The though. first album. That first album, it's yeah, Gene. It's that Gene, album had Gene. a similar sound because of Isaiah, and obviously exactly. Isaiah played a big role in Eterno. Yeah. But I think Eterno was like just this beautifully polished 14-song project that was that was like, to, like I was talking to Majin Vito, who's yeah. produced a lot yeah, of the bachata boy, since 2017. Boy. Yeah. Majin yeah. Vito told me, yo, we would use that album as a reference for ideas. They still do. So the, the album is dope. So still, no, they, 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 they still. Ese album, if, even if you disagree with like, okay, it marked the difference, you do have to say it made an impact. Oh, so, but, so I, I don't, but, I don't, I don't want to sound. Go, go ahead, I say, I don't want to sound dead. But ahead. you said he was the first one to bring it dark. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I yeah. might have been I'm, wrong in that. No, no, okay, no, okay, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, it's bro, okay, bro. If it's one thing about this podcast, it's okay to be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We admit it. I, I, I'll be wrong sometimes. Smurf be wrong sometimes. And, and that's, what, it, that's, it, what it, that's what we hear. That's what we hear. Somebody you, said Jay Melody's thirty years old in one of the episodes. <laughs> Jay Melody's twenty four. Yeah. <laughs> Pero mira, te voy a decir. So I wanna, I wanna deep yeah, into it. The darkness. Yeah, okay, my bad. Go ahead. The darkness. I could debate that. Why? Because I could say Louis Cyrus. You're right. But that I came do. again. That had the key factors in in the team of Jr. Which was Zay. So, so there's two factors. There. So Louis Cyrus is Bisono and Isaiah, and uh, when Louis Cyrus did, it was it was Mike. So if you guys don't know Mike. Uh, Say him because that's one thing. Then with Jr. It's the same team. I know that. Same exact team. I know that. But just, just Jr. brought something different with his bro, voice. Bro, yeah, and and his style. To me, oh, to uh, me, he's like like a Drake. Yeah. 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 That flow. Yeah. So el, el, he's more of a what, J Cole type of flow. J Cole. Cole. Oh, Drake. Oh, Cole. Oh, Cole. No. You know J. why? Cole. Why? Why? You know why? Okay. Hell no. Como que hell no? Why? So you you got who's a better rapper, J Cole or Drake? J Cole's a better rapper. J Cole's a better rapper. Cole's a better rapper. Uh, but that exactly. Okay. Exactly so my bro, point. Well, we're, not we're not comparing with that. We're not. I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. He's he's more because he's. In, so in my opinion, it, it it comes down to and then I'm a fan, so I, I I might sound a little biased. I'm a fan too. Man. I'm a, no, no 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 not not. We all fans. No not the J R. I'm more passionate about J R's project because I was I've had the privilege to actually work it with them. Doing Sit down time. with them. You know deeper details. Yes. Yeah. So again, I'm, that's why I'm saying I might gotcha. be a little biased. Okay. Because for me, Jr. That album it, it brought out not darkness because that's why we were asking the darkness. Mm. It brought out a different style of guitars, a the different Nova. yeah. But the Nova's dope. Okay, I, I and I give that I give that to him, and then they utilized him, but they also utilized um, Chichi. Chichi did a couple uh, songs. They did, yeah. a couple, did a couple songs, you know. And, Pikachu and, 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 and Pikachu's always in that bass. Look at Raulito, Dani. Is that team? Es bueno, la ley de ellos. Sí, sí, because sí, I, yeah, I, I will shuffle yeah, yeah. the shit out of that. But that that's their lead. They they that's they their sound. They They're one of the best in the, in the industry. But when it comes down to JR, it, in that album, he took it in where he, he sings, maintains the melodies, and he also throws a little R&B flow and then he raps a little bit in the newer style of the generation. So that's what I'm saying and it's it's people might understand that if you don't we're going to put the link there so you guys listen to it then. No. 
because it, it takes you from a, it's a journey, right? It's not just different tracks you're thrown out. It's a journey from one to 14. Yeah. And, and go from there. And we could actually say after Prince Royce, the one that sneaked in was JR. 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 Again, después Loisaida, Loisaida, yeah, yeah, yeah. Loisaida had the opportunity. He was JR is not JR was not signed. Listen. He had a buzz. Yes, he did. And okay, he, but he, but he, look he, at me. Look look at me. Listen. And a few things, but but what happened after? Once again, se salió. Se quitó. En su mejor momento fue que se quitó. Se quitó. Y lo vamos a traer y vamos a hablar de eso. Pero ahora estamos fría. Pero JR JR didn't have a label. JR didn't have a big investor like like Lois and, and and the whole team had. But okay, it's not it's not, the same, it's not the same. It was a team effort. Remember, Lois also got signed to um Top Stop. Oh true, true. They were with Sergio George. Yeah, but top Stop. But eso fue después, eso fue lo último. Ah, pero que okay, entiendo, pues ni en el último fue que ellos hicieron el boom. Not really. Ande el diablo ese que no. Tú estabas tocando con ellos ahí. Nosotros lo vivimos yeah. in the industry wise. Que he made them do ah, a song, a remake that they didn't want to do. I, y yo lo digo. En lo Isaiah. Sí o sí. I accept your point of view. No, I got the facts. Too, because my eyes is different than your eyes. I accept it. No, I know. Yours is more beautiful than mine. You do ojo verde y vaina. Mine's a hate podcast. Mine's a hate podcast. Tu opinión es solo. Solamente tu opinión. Aprende. Let's still debate that. I don't care. Fua. Fua. But estamos con fría aquí. Okay. So you went from that and... For me, it's, it's, again, it's surprising that that album had so much of a big impact towards you. Yeah. Is that the only album that had that No, impact? Gene's album, it's Gene. Uh, really? Can't Find My Love was a song that I was like, wow, this is incredible. Because what happened was, you got to remember, so at that time, I'm 22 years old right now. At the time I heard it, I was 17 years old. Right. And I was like, wow, there's young people that make bachata. I always admired Romeo. Aventura's been my favorite group my whole life but the age gap was so big i didn't see myself being like him oh. so when i saw jr and guys like gene i was like wow like i could do that and then i also heard a song from k rose it wasn't none of the popular ones it was a song called brindo yo that's yeah. a beautiful it's a beautiful record from from carlos brindo, and, yeah. brindo, and, brindo. and and i heard that and i, I was like wait there's a movement so then i started learning more Wait, there's a there's a Kevin. Wait, there's a I didn't even know Bachata Heights existed. Wait, there's a 24 Horas. Okay, hold on. Wait, you and I threw pa and you I started learned about doing your doing research. Bachata. Started doing your research. Yeah. You know, you know was 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 one thing which I used to judge you. Not only you but everybody that most artists don't do their homework. They mm -hmm. don't. Most artists and musicians because at the end of the day This is not only about the artist. This is about the musician, bro. That they don't do their homework. And something you made me realize today was that you do your homework. Oh, yeah. I study, man. Yeah, but, he studies. But your homework is different than mine. Yeah. Because... No viví mucha cosa que Because... Tú and that's understandable because that's going to happen with you one day when you keep going with your career and then new music come up, new, new artists... And you're gonna say the same thing to them, right? Like, yeah. My thing is, that I can name you a thousand bachateros that you're gonna be like, from away, yo, from I don't know who's that. I never heard of that guy, and I'm like, you right. bugging. But you one day is gonna be like, to the new generation, be like, bro, you don't know who's Jr. You don't know, you don't know who know, is Gene. You don't know, you you don't know, know who's Gene. Gene. <laughs> you don't know who's Optimo. You don't know who's K Rose. Right, right, What? right. What? It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you made me honestly, well, I don't, I don't bullshit. Mm -hmm. You made me open up my eyes That I even it's told good. you earlier Off cameras That yeah. I would say I'm be like Yo I feel washed up I, I, <laughs> I, I feel washed up I'm not up. washed up Because I'm still Playing Yeah I'm still performing with, You out there with the top You're in the music. streets yeah. Even with the new coming Like I'm not the type of musician To be like Nah, I ain't gonna play with you. Nah, I play with whoever. I see duro. El que paga. Right. Sí, el que paga. El que paga, <laughs> el que se va. No, but <laughs> Que te pagan a ti, que diferente. But I, I really Kudos to you, bro, that you do your homework because your generation is different than my generation. Yeah. And a lot so, of the generation so, do not do their homework. Yeah. They just go in there and, and think that of, they know yeah, it all. A lot, yeah. new, so, a lot of these new niggas, they, 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 they don't. They don't. They do don't. They don't. So, not even on the, on the, on the, sorry to cut you off, Smurf, but not even on the artists that inspired the them. Oh, okay. Because you said Eterno inspired you. 
Mm-hmm. So it yeah. gave you something. It get that you're not cheap, but you're like, I want to do that. Yeah. But yeah. I'm, I want to do it different. My style. Yeah. Right, that right. even though you could hear the influence, but no, it's my style. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, that's, it's, that's dope. That is dope because education, ed- education especially is something that you're trying to do. Y algo que tú quieras hacer en, en, en más en este género. Mm-hmm. You, you got to know your basis, right? Um, yeah. So for you, you you study a lot of the, the, the new guys, you, the, the ones who inspired you. Uh, have you have you studied the the traditional side of the of the world of the bachata? Because the the general the, the guys the artists that you just mentioned, it's it, it was a, a newer generation and a new, newer version of bachata. So for example. You see how it did, no? You say that and inspired and everything else. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, it gave a foundation that now I believe, and in my opinion, a lot of people sound like them. Mm-hmm. It sounds the same thing. It like sounds repetitive. And it, it sounds it sounds repetitive. It's only mismo cosa, and like, um, and, and you said that my invito told you that it inspired him and gave him ideas based on of of that. So for me, and y se lo digo a todito, o sea, yo no tengo pelo en la cosa. Muchos de las bachatas que están saliendo ahora de, de la nueva generación están sonando y sí, están sonando igual. Mm-hmm. Es el mismo tiempo de Aventura, que cuando Aventura salió en los primeros cinco años, everybody sounded like them. Right, right, right. They're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're not unique. They're not, they don't have their own sound. And it's not easy because people think, oh, que, oh, you get your own sound, it's easy. No. It's no, not, there's something that it, it, has to be developed. Exactly. And it comes from experience, understanding yourself, and taking constructive criticism and mm-hmm. building it into your... Into, into your own style. And developing a sound in bachata is algo distinto porque estamos hablando que you have to use the same five instruments mm-hmm. and not just basic, that. The right, basic. Right. Yeah, 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 that's the base of the, the, genre. the base, right, right. right. But on top of that, es un género loco donde it cuesta mucho dinero para grabar temas. So for you to find your sound, you got to make a lot of songs, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for y, you... y, y vamos a llegar ahí en lo, en lo del dinero. Pero primero yeah. que lleguemos ahí, yo tuve el placer because he's, he, has a hu- he has a huge point. And he said it in his social media. But before we get there, there's, yeah, two, yeah, thing, yeah. there's two things that you did um, before that. And that you want to chop up? Uh, yeah, I want to chop up. One, you are the only bachata artist in the last five years that either the management or the artist itself has taken the the, the trip and the investment. A lot of artists do it, but in bachata, it's very rare to find. You took yourself and you went and you was like, you know what? Me voy por los billboards. Solo. Yeah. But I la. went alone, man. I heard, he, he I heard went, about that. I heard about yeah. that. He, he went alone, right? One, and one thing I do admire about you is that your marketing and the way you market yourself as an artist it's very different from everybody else and you do you find you try you're trying to find different ways to get to people yeah thank the, you man. The, the, I appreciate the, that. the challenge you just did for your new single for the usbs whoever does this whoever does that and you mailed them out yesterday and the song comes out you know in, in a couple of days um before that two years before that when you first came out with your ep mm-hmm. you invited the whole industry bachata industry and musico and everybody else to an event that it was just you and people were buying tickets and you even had the artists in the genre buying tickets to go support you yeah so how did that come about with and that marketing idea to to do it is with, it your is it yourself or do you have a marketing team that takes or do you time. or do you go from there you know that the the time. show or miami which one you want to touch let, let, let's do the show and let's then we jump the right show. into the, the into show. miami so i did this show okay so for the people watching and for you guys i've never had an investor i've never had a manager I've never had a booking agent, nothing. Everything, so everything I, was all you. By myself, with my, my mom, my sister. Gotcha. I go to them for stuff. Like, mom, what do you think about this? Or they'll help me book something, or they'll yeah. email people, Yeah. that kind of stuff. But my mom and my sister, they don't know about the music industry. So I have to like walk them through it. Like, mom, can you write this, send this out? Yeah. Here's the link. Can you book this place? Yeah. I'm going to sell you the money. Yeah. So. I had put out an EP called Eden mm-hmm. that went number five on iTunes. Okay. And I remember when it came out, I couldn't believe that so many people were rocking with mm-hmm. the project. It mm-hmm. was in the middle of COVID. Yeah. And a hundred people showed up to this pop-up shop that I did. It was just merch. I wasn't performing. I wasn't doing a show. Yeah. Boom. So then I go to DR. I do a press tour. And se va bien. La, esta canción, ella no quiere, se estaba pegando en un pueblo que se llama Santiago Rodríguez. Santiago Rodríguez. Okay. Which is in the north. Bro, mm-hmm. I did, yo, it was crazy. I remember I was doing the promo tour and I was in the car getting driven. 
and there was a group of baseball like kids going to play baseball mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. back of a camion y estaban gritando fría fría ella no quiere duro mm -hmm. and I remember yeah and I had got to one of the radio stations at like seven in the morning and there was like five people waiting outside which of course that's not like Royce or Romeo, but to me, the fact yeah, that five yeah, people no, claro. were outside hey, of a radio it's station. Fi it's five, look at it this way. It's, it's five, five people loyal. that you didn't have that now you do. Yeah. That they were outside, like, waiting for me to yeah. come into the radio station. You start so somewhere, bro. It was, uh, it was dope. When I finished that tour, I'm like, damn, I got to do something better than I did last time. Mm -hmm. So my goal wasn't to... Like, I don't look at... Um, like, the people that came out around the same time as me is like Chavi, Will Van Bello. Yeah. I don't look at things that... People who came out the same time as me doing, I'm like, damn, why I'm not doing this? Why is this not happening? When can I do that? How do I get this? I'm always like, I just got to do better than the last thing I did. Exactly. You're okay. your own competition. Yeah, you're your own competition. You're so I said, okay, I want to do a show. I'm going to make new merch. I'm going to put out a new video and I'm going to release this new single, but I want to do an event and I want to have as many people there as possible just to show people like I could do this by myself. Yeah. Okay. So I set up this event. The first thing I did was I went to Utah and I shot the music video in Utah. Okay. Fuiste tú. Yeah, Crazy bro, video. Lo único que es montaña y nieve. <laughs> bro, su super fire. I'll, I'll show you a, a clip Shout out to my people from Utah. I love from you. From Utah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, sh I shoot the video. It's a yeah. movie. And when I showed my parents, they were like, you got to make a big deal out of this. Okay. So I started saving up money. I rent out this venue. I put together the event by myself. I marketed it alone. I came up with a release strategy by myself. And we sold the tickets purely just off of like posting on Instagram. Yeah, and the bachateros were like, yo, like we fuck with what this kid is doing. We're gonna yeah. go show up. So it was different. It was different at the time. So I saw it. I, I wasn't able to make it because I was I was sick. So mm -hmm. I, I wasn't able to make it. But you when when I saw it and, and seeing all the people there and, and seeing it, and I was tuning in and all the posts and everybody there, you, you you had you had everybody there. So kudos to you for thinking outside the box, because that's what we need. And to think honestly, the box. and honestly, for all your new artists, I, which we're gonna talk about the, the yeah yeah with, yeah, with yeah. That, that that conference yeah Romeo. that's that's right Romeo next thing? that's right right after this <laughs> jumping into but Miami. We, that's what Romeo means by put in work. Yeah, put in work. That you never, you never know. You never know. You gotta you put know. in work. But you gotta, you gotta let, let, let's, jump let's jump into that. Let's jump into that. Before, yeah, yeah. before we jump into that, that's, that's an inter that's an interesting topic. It, it's a, it's a. It, we'll I wanna there. hear, yeah. I wanna hear, fuiste tú, by Frias. You wanna hear the remix? Wait, 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 wait. Nah, the wait, wait. original one. The original okay, one. Fría que está aquí solo. Clase, I love you guys, pero cuando ustedes vengan lo ponen. Tan frío. Está ahí, it's right there. Um, ¿por qué fuiste tú? If you scroll down ass. a little bit, it's right there. There you go. Yeah. yeah, let's listen to that and then we'll go let's into listen it. Listen to that a few clips, a few seconds. En otras mujeres que no son tú, esos sentimientos me tienen volando en una nube oscura de plenitud. Años que no puedo. Acepto el hecho que no deseabas esto Muero por dentro sabiendo que nuestro amor Se desvanece lentamente de tus recuerdos Años que no puedo recordar cada momento Aunque me desespero no regresará el tiempo Y yo sé que no 
Bueno, I, I like, you know that song. Know okay. That song. So I, 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 I heard the song and, and I heard it after the, the EP and what you did in the, in the thing. Again, it, it, it says a lot. Again, you, you use a lot of the, the great musicians that everybody else uses. And we're going to get into that uh, again. Oh, yeah, that that's song, a, that's actually, on too. that song, I didn't use. Who did you use? You on that song, I had... um. Vladi bass. Okay. Oh, Vladi. Vladi. Mano, I think he played with Grupo, Grupo Nexo. 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 Vladi's the man. Yeah. Yo, Vladi. Vladi's dope. Vladi. Vladi's dope. I use Chapulín, which a lot okay. of people don't Chaps, use Chapulín. Como que? Como a lot of... Chaps. Well, lot not now. Using, but it's yeah. mainly jo Joel Bongos and Raulito is who everybody uses. Those two people do the majority of the music that comes out. Mario did a lot of shit. Sí, Chapulín eso, has done a lot of songs. Y eso que Marta Morena ahí, que hay, hay, hay par de bongos, pero eso es menos duro. Tú sabes lo que pasa, que muchos de esos tigres, un ejemplo, tú mencionaste lo que grabaron en, en esa producción, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Chaps, Vlad. Vlad, Big Marley, Big Weed. Big Marley, shout out to my nigga. And then Ito, I always work with Ito. Okay. Ito. Pero, so again, Ito, not, Ito, Ito is one of the best guitar. He, yeah, he, one of my top they, five. They, again, and then they correct, you guys corrected me, and, and I appreciate you guys. Yeah. I went blank that day because yo estaba cansado. <laughs> Pero, I, I had a, you know when people, somebody has a brain fart? That's yeah, what I had. Happens, I was happens. like, oh, shit. When it's he not, said me, when he said Ito, I'm cold. Pero, Ito, Ito me va a explotar. Pero, and you, use, and you use Ito there, which is dope. Ito, again, Ito is one of the... He's utilized more than a lot dope, of guitars. Yeah, yeah, he's dope. my favorite. Pero yeah, you can... mentioned Simon too. Simon, sí. Simon. No hey, me hey, mencione el tigre. No me mencione el charlatán, el tigre un charlatán. Hey, hey, está bien, Simon. <laughs> sí, está bien. Ya, está bien. Sí, está bien. Ok, gracias a Dios, ok, está bien. Okay. Amén. Eh, Amén. Pero yo creo no, que no, pasa. no, no, de verdad. He... Muchos de esos tigres, Chapulín, yeah. Ito, eh, Vlad, Vlad, yeah. tienen experiencia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pero ¿Qué pasa? Es sangre nueva a la misma vez. Yeah. Que es not la misma monotonía. When you use the same musician, Everything when, a, when every sound. artist uses the same musician, oh, listen, unless you are el arreglita, everything's gonna sound the same. Mm. Yep. Everything's gonna sound unless the same. Unless you have the guy Porque there. Porque mira, yo te puedo decir, Lenny, usa a, uh, ¿cómo se llama el bongocero? Raulito. Él usa a Raulito, pero él usa también a Meme. Oh, sí, a Meme, ya, ya, ya. ¿Me entiendes? En los tiempos de aventura. Y él usa, él, él, usa, no, él, no, él no usaba a Chats para pa Vena. To play live. To play, to play live, live, to, to play, play live. live. Era, era Chats. Pero, sí. pero para grabaciones, o sea, te estoy hablando de los tiempos de aventura. Ok. Eh, Meme y, y, oh, oh, y sí. Meme, Mello. Mello y, y Enrique. Raulito. Entonces, ¿pero qué pasa? ¿Quién es el productor de ahí? Lenny. 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 So, él te va a decir, no, no, no. Esto es lo que yo quiero. Exacto. Entonces viene el otro artista, up and coming, use the same combo, use the same combo like, but they don't want, know. I want that what you did. No, yeah, bro. No. Inventa, do something different. Make it your color. Yeah, yeah. Make it yeah. your color. So one thing I do when I'm in the studio, I'm, they, I'm just always saying, everybody tells me, tú eres el único manager que, que, que es primer productor y vaina. Because, no, no me hagas eso. Es una zona bien. Cam, cam, cámbiame eso. El yeah. No, el doctor, eso. El dotólogo. Bye. Oh, chach, Dios mío. Bye. Eh, pero... Um, pero, but again, oreja, about the sí. combination you were saying. Yeah, the combination is always good to mix and match. Yeah. yeah. It's always good to challenge yourself and, and, and put people who are not used to working with each other yeah. and challenge them in the studio. And I love that process. So for me, que yo meto, okay, eh, por ejemplo, I, I, I love Enrique. Enrique, oh, Enrique, no. Enrique, eh, Enrique, Enrique, eh, Enrique, eh, cosa. Pero, el más ah, completo. Ay, coño, no me digas. Ay, ay, ay. Pero seguimos. Eh, pero, por ejemplo, para mí, yo usaba lo que es el, el sobrino mío, Mix. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew that I used him. ¿Quién era el buen ser el guerrero? They'd be like, yo, you crazy. Who that? Who that? Who crazy? Mix. Mix. He recorded in the studio. Nobody knows who it is. Y todo el mundo. ¿Y cómo diablos el tigre hizo todo eso? Hay una canción ahí que nadie le puede caer atrás because he did some crazy shit there. Yeah. But it changes and it, it, it gives it a different a sound. New color. And a new color to it. So. My 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 suggestion to everybody and to, and to you is that challenge that challenge these musicians. That's why you're paying them for. Right, That's right. why as, you're investing as, in them. As, as challenge them out. Wait wait wait, because you can challenge, but a veces ese músico no te da los resultados que tú quieres. Pero por as eso tú tienes. That músico is, has is capable. Capacity to record. Bro, but the name the, the name the names he's using right now, they, 
en, no, from, no, what, from what no, I hear the experience. Que, que él dijo, eh, está bien. Ah, ok. Igual, está bien. Ok, so if he doesn't challenge him there, hay, hay, un, hay un problema. Pero seguimos, bueno. Eh, yo quiero seguir con el, con el tema y, y cambiando, que tú fuiste a Miami, ¿verdad? Yeah. Te tiraste solo. Sí. Va. I had the pleasure to be able to go see you over there and I, and, I, and I saw you in the conferences. You were building relationships and going forward from there. Eh, tú tuviste la oportunidad y, and I want you to explain a little bit how, how that happened because I was there and I was watching you um, ask this qu a question. Question, el diablo. <laughs> eh, Esta epa, pregunta. Eh, bueno, la pregunta. Nucho, bueno, nucho, la pregunta. Y se la, pre se la preguntó al, al bachatero número uno que es Romeo Santo. So, how did that feel? What did you ask him? And how did you feel with the response he gave you? Okay. Así, ah, pon, ponte pa' esto que esto está... No, esto, esto está, está, esto está, está heavy, loco. Yo estoy pa' okay. eso. Yo, es que yo, yo te tengo fuego, tranquilo. <ríe> sí. Yo te tengo fuego. Yo fui no. pa' Miami solo. Como dije anteriormente, no tengo management ni... You know, nothing. I'm a, I'm el tigre estaba man. solo, solista. El, el tipo está pulmón. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I went, I went to Miami dolo because... I, yo... You have to do the things no one else is willing to do to make it in music. Yeah. You have to do the things that, like, that, I'm not, nigga, I'm not aceitoso. I'm not scared to tell someone, yo, I love what you do. Thank you for what you do. I appreciate you. Yeah. You know, I, I, you I'm sincere. the... You sincere. Bro, I'm the guy that, like, you got to be humble, bro, because if not, God will humble you, and you're going to be embarrassed. So I said, yo, how I'm going to wait until a manager comes to take me over there? I got to go do that by myself, because if I don't do it, why someone else is going to do right. it for me? Right. I get over there. And uh, I obviously knew Romeo was going to be there. So that day I was early to everything, extra early. And yeah. I was, I was in the back drinking some sangrias and stuff. <laughs> yes, was man, inside man, already man. in the car. This is such an hour. was inside like that, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, because I network different from him. Right. He's, he's building relationships. Yeah. I have some of the relationships already. Yeah. Smurf is there, catching man. up oh, with yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm catching up with people. You're saying that Fria was there inside, moving the table. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Fria was doing what he was supposed to do like a new artist and trying to get what he wanted because he had a mission. So, so explain that mission. Hold on, better, better. Before we continue that, totally wait a minute. So you were the one in that video that went, went kind of yeah, viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has yeah, like 100, that's you. That's yeah, like 130,000 yeah, yeah. views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, send yeah. It, I send it to you guys. It's, it's there. And yo ahí atrás. He's all over here listening. I'm like, coño, mierda. Buena pregunta. And I'm sure he was the only one that No, y eso que. That's the important question. Oh, yeah, everybody was. But anyway, let him finish the thing. Okay, so my mission... Mi misión en Miami era simple. Era crear relaciones. Make relationships. Mm -hmm. Build relationships. Get to know people. Eso es lo más importante de, de esta industria. Nice. So, when I'm over there, I obviously know Romeo's going to talk this day. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know what's funny? Nobody, they weren't doing Q&As. No. You can ask Smurf. They weren't doing Q&As. And this is like a little God moment, right? Because the day before that, I was in the hotel room by myself writing a song. And when I was getting ready, thinking about the next day, I, I just prayed. I said, man, God, if I get the opportunity to, to um, if there's a chance that I get to talk to Romeo, please let it happen. Like, I prayed that. Yeah. And so, listen to what Smurf said. They were not doing Q&As at the billboard. Romeo was cool that day and he was chilling and he and when he, he was had, drinking when yeah, he, yeah, he was tequila drinking. like that give me some tequila so <laughs> when he ended his interview he said yo yo lena yo, i'm gonna uh, ask some questions let's take a couple questions, questions from the crowd yeah. yeah so romeo i know you know we can say here on this podcast i know romeo knows every new artist that's in bachata you know he does because he knew yeah. he, he's, 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 he, he's he, he does he does his, his homework, homework. Yeah, he's studying yeah. and i've heard things like i know that he's Checking out, like, who's working? Yeah. So when he got there, remember, I'm in the second row. We had made eye contact, like, two or three times. There was a few times. But he's the king, nigga. He's not going to be like, oh, I recognize this little nigga. But, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's not going to do that. And he doesn't have to. So, not anyway. at the end of the day, he don't know you. Right, right, right. He might, it might have been like a familiar face, yeah, and that's yeah. it. So... Because I also met Romeo when I was 17 one time at, at a meet and greet. So yeah. I don't know what it could have been. But we had made eye contact a few times. At the end, he does this shit with the questions. Mm -hmm. And he looks at me and he picks someone else. He said, yep. yo, give them the mic. Yeah. Que pasa? 
I don't think you can see it in the video, but the girl who had the mic, she was next to me. So I just told her, she looked mad nervous. I said, yo, let me get the mic. Let me ask him a question. Dila was like, you snatched the mic away from her. No, tampoco así. No, 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 él es respetuoso. No, he did it in a nice way. I got you, you nervous. Come here, I got you. He saw the moment. He took it. Tranquilo, que no sale en el video, so don't worry about it. You snatched it, all right. Me entiendes. Hay que tener cuidado con el cancel culture. Sí, sí, el cancel culture. Okay. That's the way. Yeah, you hold that. Yeah, yo, give me the mic, nigga. <laughs> so she hands me the mic, and right away I go, um, Anthony Maestro. Yeah. You know, I ask him. I said, in short, for the people who didn't get to see that, I said, what are the things that new bachateros should be doing in order to pegarse, in order to make it? I told him. I said, I know you know guys like Jr. K. Rose, Kevin, yeah, which I did that on purpose because I didn't want to make it a freeze moment. I wanted yeah. it to be a bachata moment. Yeah. And um. And you stated that I work with with, with your guitar player Chichi. I work with all a lot of the musicians. Yeah, that, 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 so he 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 knows. Yeah, he yeah, he yeah, fucks right. So yeah, he yeah, can yeah, see yeah, like, yeah. okay, this little nigga's not on no bullshit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He knows what he's talking about. Let me let me go try. So. I just asked him, like, what do we need to be doing? Because you know how expensive bachata is to make. Yeah. You know how difficult it is to break into this. What do we need yeah. to be doing? I didn't say, this is a big detail in all of the conversations I had about that. I didn't say, how can you help us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yep. didn't yeah, say, yeah, I peeped out. I yep. peeped out. can you and Royce do a song? Like, why no, don't no. you guys help? I said, what do we need to be doing? And then he answered this question how he answered it. Um, so were you satisfied with the answer? I'm grateful I got that moment. Okay. I think Romeo gave me the perfect media trained answer. It was like, it was like perfect. It was like, I'm a, I'm gonna answer your question and not give you códigos. Okay. So, como te dijo, te, te dijo, eh, como fue? El... Le dio los códigos, pero no se lo dio a la misma vez. No, 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 like, porque like, tú sabes... I'm giving you a little taste, like... No, and you know, one, one, one thing that I, that I did say, and, and this is something that we, we, we always we always tell a lot of artists is keep on working and keep your your a tu diligencia yeah keep working stay diligent stay um, stay on top of it stay on top of it keep consistent because he you know what he said you never know who the fuck is looking at Cause, you cause, and cause who's watching hence so yo lo cogí doble me doble vía verdad hence I'm answering your question but I'm also telling you that I'm watching mm-hmm and I know, and I know, maybe you didn't get that at the time, but well, I did. Because watch. Because, yeah, and, and I was in the back, and I was like, and then I, I have a relationship with, with his right-hand man, and I was like, all right, because I, I didn't even ask him to go see him and go thing, because it's, it's too many people. Mm -hmm. And all the media and everything. Else, so I'm atras, I'm day, yeah. And I was like, yeah. you know what? And I, I was just so in, and I, and I grasped it in, because we all learn, right? And I wanted to see what his answer was, because his question was perfect. It was not based on free it was based on the genre. But and a lot of people have been dying yeah, to but ask. You know, he was a yeah, corporate. He's, you know, he's corporate but okay, too. Exactly. So a lot of people have been trying to ask him that question and he waves it off in social media yeah. and everything else. Oh, you can't depend on me. In, in a billboard thing, he acted, oh, I don't have to help. Or why do you have to help? And he thinks that um, Chavi could be the next one if he keeps working and he keeps doing what, what, what he's yeah. doing the right way. And he said, that's, that's a whole that's, different that's, thing. That's, that's, that's a whole different thing. That's so whole different thing. for him to answer, Answer free as and free as didn't make it about him, and he got that answer from him, and everybody was like, "Oh shit!" Like, like now, it inspired other people to do be able to do it. I know that was not the one answer you wanted. I know for a fact that's not the answer that I was expecting. <laughs> but you gotta take you, you gotta that. yeah. So you, but you gotta take you gotta take a win where, where the, there's a win. Of course, he oh, addressed he addressed the new generation. He because. addressed you and he addressed you. Keep working because you never know who's looking. Because. Yeah, it was big. It was big because he acknowledged. There's yeah. people under me. Yeah. Of course. Oh, oh, not only that, bro, but because you want to know about the genre too. Because mm. you knowing up you knowing not the genre, I'm sorry, you knowing about the business of that genre yeah. helps you in your career. Right. Of you're gonna course. Say, you're gonna say, let me grab what he said and let me add it to my career. That's all I do, yes. bro. I'm a sponge. That's it. And then this you gotta learn. And since you're being a sponge right now, because I was there and then after that we went to Henry Santos um event. Um, to his life thing, we had to leave. I don't know if you went back because um, I had to go to a basketball game. Right, 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 Did you right. go back? To Henry's thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah so he went back. He was with J5 and Paola, a couple other ones. 
Um, shout outs to, to Cookie, uh, um, the publicist over there. Thank you for always supporting LMP, supporting us, and making sure that we were taken care of. So that was the publicist that got that made sure that we right, were right, that, right. that we, we were, were good. Got in there. So we were we were there and and y el trato fue deja celular la al si deja celular que estamos en bachatería poca. Ah, yo estoy activo. Ah, okay. I got my Punch, question. I got my question. Oh, right oh, you looking at your yeah, question? Okay, bien, right okay. Right now, so. Tiene que llevar la leche. Eh, la sí, ni lo, lo, no, te digo. Ya, ya hay curfew, ya, 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 ya casi, ya. Yo soy hijo mío ya pero, grande. Ok. <laughs> pero como estamos en eso, now, a, a couple things that I see, and then that was a great moment, and, and I enjoyed the time that we spent over there, y tú te dejas llevar, and you're one of the guys who's gone to every single event that has to do with bachata. Yeah. Whether, it, whether it's Julio, whether it's Maria, whether it's... Eh, yeah, it's always support. It's always support. It's always support, and he's always showing support, and y tú te has ganado la, la gente. One thing that I that I will tell you is that in taking constructive criticism, it could be a lot because it could be repetitive. It could be certain things that could be, and everybody has their annoying. opinion. It could be annoying. Everybody yeah. has their opinion. So moving forward, you take uh, my suggestion. You, you take what you think is gonna work for you, and you take the thing. I personally think that you have a a, a lot. Again, musicality. Your music is is there. Uh, your melodies and your stuff. Again, you're not you're not a K. Rose singer, but you you do your own thing. It, it, again, you, you were a rapper. Swag. I didn't know you were a rapper, but yeah, I always yeah, got yeah, that yeah. vibe because to limit the flow, they they. You are rhyme and I rap. spit. I spit in a rhyme. I sit there, I got down, man. Chachi, no, no, what that? What that? It's a rapper, bro. It's a rapper, right? But I see how you Im implement that into in, into your bachatas and and with your new song. And thank you for letting us hear. We're gonna hear it in a bit. I had the opportunity to actually listen to it and, and be like, okay, it's different. Uh, I'm I'm am I'm old I'm a old school 2000, right? right, right? right, right. Yeah, so for me, for me, for me, hearing something new like that was, was like, okay, I had to replay, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh. right? So musically and the melody is really catchy and going and, and going from there. I think you have a, a great song que se llama Reviviré. Revivir, 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 sorry, revivir, 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 I didn't want to play the 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 chicken chase where I make a song, spend all my money, rush to make another one. To oh keep wait, up. wait, wait, time out. So you don't want to be like a lot of these other bachateros thinking that they the moceros throw just throwing out a song every 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 two weeks. No. Callate, smurf, call you mean. Sigo, wait, no. Entonces él dice que yo soy chimoso. Ah, escúchalo a él. Pero hay que hay que no es que hay que tirar la realidad, verdad? O tirando remakes, because you could throw out ten different remakes with the right, team right. you got and, and stuff. Es no, que, es que, si, no, no, no. Pero espera, le estoy preguntando a él, así. Espera, espérate, que I, I want to get more in, into it. Después tú me caes atrás, right? <laughs> so, because if you want, you could do a lot of remakes, Chimos. right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Right, and, and that's your choice. Mm -hmm. So, what makes you not do that and take the easy way out and just focus on your own writing, your own skills, and going from there? Just because I look at bachata like. You know what? I'm gonna tell you this. This is probably the only moment I'll be cocky. The difference between me and other bachateros, mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of guys that love bachata and enjoy bachata and make bachata. The difference is I care about this shit. I, and I care about it too much. I care about bachata. I care about when I'm 35 years old and my friends are getting married, that there's new music playing at those mm -hmm. weddings. That when I have kids and there's house family parties going on, that they can grow up to new music and that they hold those memories on the way that I remember hearing Los Infieles when I was seven and eight years old. I, I mean, no, man. <laughs> I was in college when you said Los Infieles. Oh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going get, to get over here. Jesus Santísimo. Yo, de Ay, yo, yo, yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> yo, yes. Aventura's my childhood music, bro. When I was, that's the music I grew up to as a kid. You guys lived that moment. But yeah, I grew up. That's to crazy, it. bro. So, so what, what do you? Well, think? no, no, wait. Remember, he's twenty-two. Are you the me? Yeah, I'm too, bro. Pero también. So, what do you think the way that music is right now? That music is. is it's horrible, day, bro. It's, every it's, day it's, is new things coming out. It could be bachata. It could be whatever. No, it it's never bachata. But don't, but don't you think? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you got a few, you got a few bachata artists that they come out with the with the songs here and there. But don't you think that the way that the music is right now? That you throw one song and then the other artist throw and then the e por Don't you think that you should try to keep up 
because there's new music going on. And la gente escucha y después move on to the next one. Rápido. Yeah. So, would you feel that que eso te está dando resultados? Tú aguantaste, be more, at least more exclusive, and not just throw new music like every month? Si fuera yo, I would put out music. Well, remember what I said about this year. My goal was yeah, to your make... Yeah, your goal was... My to. goal was to make 13 bachata songs. And I actually recently just finished that goal. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I saw you yesterday in there doing... Con Eduna in the studio and stuff. Yeah, I was I recording you. vocals and stuff. So I actually... I'm, I'm wrapping that up. But those songs are produced. That was my goal. So that I could have a pit of songs to pull from that I'm proud of. And I'm going to show you guys some, some records when we finish up. Because... Yeah. Ooh, we, took, we got exclusive. Anthony. I took vocal we got exclusive here by Frias. I took vocal lessons for two years, got so it. anything that's out right now is pre-vocal lessons. It was before. So what you telling me is you don't. Oh, so, use so you're preparing yourself. That's what, what you telling me. You don't. You don't no, use auto tune. What I'm telling you is that like I could cantar in vivo and be secure. Be seguro. Oh my man. So you so know. you're telling us that you te estás preparando. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm coming this. So, so you're not, you're not like band in vivo. So you're not like, like these other artists que no eh, callo en vivo que auto tunes y vaina no, y tal y tú y tú tú te estás preparando. I've been in boot camp, like getting ready to sing and perform and understanding. Well, remember, I came from a world of performing. I performed in front of thousands of people before. No, 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 but that's different because that's rapping. Rapping, you yeah, just you sing, I, you a, you yeah. rap on top of your yeah. own song. So now the singing thing. That's why I said I've been taking vocal lessons for two years. To get prepared for 2023. Yo lo aplaudo. I didn't know about that. Yo lo aplaudo. ¿Sabes por qué? Y Anthony está allí enfocando otra vaina, pero está bien. La noche me la está dando duro. Pero, you know why? There's only a handful of bachateros that prepare themselves in the way you just stated. Yeah. To this day now. No, this is boot camp, bro. This is war. Like, I'm not here to... I'm friends with everybody. I love everybody. I support everybody. But I'm Giannis, bro. I'm I'm here to be the best bachatero. I'm trying to take bachata where Bad Bunny is right now. Pregunta. What's up? Compita o con grupo? Nigga, with a grupo. Like, I and, also... And, and wait, wait, okay, but wait, wait, because this, 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 more, this is more in depth of that question. That's, yeah, yeah that's... Te, te, that's te, me, te, me, te me tiraste nah, como nah, muy, nah, nah. muy rápido, espérate, because, okay. Una pregunta. No, y yo le voy a hacer lo otro encima de eso, because you in the spot here in Bachateria, again, we, and, and it's coming from veterans, right? Yeah, yeah. Where it comes down. You just answered, and you, you didn't think about it twice. You said, nah, nigga, move a bang. No, 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 he didn't stutter. No, no, no. Okay, so why, why, with, why with the band and not take the easy way out, in my opinion? Loco, la, ba la bachata. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What's the quote of the podcast? Tu opinión. Tu opinión es, sola, tu opinión es solamente tu opinión. Opinión de Frias. Because I also know that when you starting off, this is a, I'm going to say, JR, I hope you don't get mad at me. This is a piece okay. of advice he gave me. He said, yo, we spend so much money making music in the beginning. JR is at yeah. a place now where he could take a band wherever he goes. Yeah. He was giving me advice for where I'm at. He said, yo, in the beginning, especially if you don't have a label or an investor that you can ask for money because... I was on some shit like, yo, I don't care if I go into debt. Like, this shit has to be what it is. It has to be in vivo. Yeah. He told me, yo, um, when you starting out, the way I started out, which this is the guy that made me want to do bachata. He gotcha. said, yo, when they would give me $300, $250, you think I could pay a band? He said, no, I would go yeah. and sing with Pista. Yeah. He said, I put out enough records and I worked myself to the place where even if it's not $15,000, $10,000, where I could afford a band and be confident with the work I was bringing to the público. So I do understand there's going to be moments in my career because I don't want someone to use this as a clip and be like, look at this nigga cantando yeah, con yeah, yeah. He was fronting on Smurf, on yeah, Smurf yeah, and yeah. Isis podcast. I know no, there's going to no. be moments where there's a DJ that invites me to a club and I go and I sing Moment. with the pista. If it was up to me, like, I I'll say this here. I plan on doing a show in vivo, my own concert, early in 2023. Okay. I'm not going to be making money from that. I'm going all out. I'm spending money to have a band in vivo, lighting, fire, like, mm -hmm. you know, real yeah. show shit. So you're going gonna have, gonna have a, a, a whole thing. So what people get a lot of things wrong, wrong is where, and, and, and I'm glad you answered that way because that should be your goal and that should be, that should be definitely, the goal, right? Definitely. Now, when every, every single body started out, there was times that they had to do pista shows, point blank. Yeah. It's not bad. But starting out because it's a media tour, incluso in a lot of the shows, if you do a media tour, Then there's playback. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. stuff. And we understand that, but when it comes down to where, coño, tú tienes un público allá adelante tú. 
you know, y tú uh, vienes, y, y tú vienes en, en, porque la bachata, lo que la gente no entiende, y mucha gente no entiende, es que la bachata se consume, y la bachata de nosotros se consume, es, y le da un swing con la banda en vivo. Yeah, of course. Por eso the, es the que band. mucha gente, sí, la bachata really es, es, es expensive, but it's an investment. Porque muchos artistas también piensan que, no, yo voy a cobrar, y, 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 la, y hay que pagar a la banda, pero yo quiero mil, mil quinientos, dos mil dólares para mí. Es, la vaina es que muchos se quedan ahí. Pues por eso o mismo. O sea, co llegan a cobrar su, su par de pesos cómodos. Para ahí. Y ellos. dicen, no, pero yo prefiero quedarme con todo esto cuarto en vez de yo pagarle una banda. Claro. When the band is going to give you even a better performance. I think I'm very brand focused. So when I started doing bachata, I was work I, I had met this guy from Universal who had given me a lot of advice while I was doing hip hop. When I was transitioning into bachata, he told me, yo, figure out who you want to be in bachata. There's already a Romeo, there's already a Royce. Yeah. So I understood right away, I didn't want to be the sexy, romantic playboy. I wanted to be the creative guy in bachata. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be the Kanye, the Bad Bunny, the, that people knew him, yo, for the music, the creativity. I don't got to take my shirt off because I make good music. Right, right. You know what I mean? So... Um, right away, that was my initiative with Bachata, to be the creative person. But one of the things I believe in a lot in, as far as branding is that that live band is going to help you take the experience that those people have yep. to another level. So what's going to happen is in six months later, when I come back and play again in New York, they're going to come because they were like, nah, them niggas was crazy. That experience it, was, that gonna, experience it, it, was it, crazy. Bro, and it's going to change... Even you as an individual, when it comes to performing, is going to change all of that. Yeah. Of oh, yeah. You got more oh, people yeah. you can vibe to, you can lean back to, be like, yo. Yeah, and, and just, and just support. And, and once, as, well, as a person, so me as, as so I, I'm, I'm one of a, a leaders in a couple places, right? Me as a leader, I can't be the leader if I don't have my, 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 my team. Yeah. I am nothing without my team. Absolutely. Point blank. I am nothing. You're for not example, here, I am nothing without these guys. I would just be Smurf. No. Bachateria is not Smurf. Bachateria is not Alci. Bachateria is not DJ Anthony. Bachateria is us. The team. And the concept of being able to bring over in our community to bring over the educational side of Bachata, what's really going on, and knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Without knowledge, there's not, knowledge right. is power. You learning from us and us learning from you because we didn't know all this stuff from you in your bio. I'm going to recommend you update that shit because <laughs> that needs to be in there yeah. because it's going to it's going to catch people's eyes and interest because your bio is good. But those things where you came from, people love yeah. origin stories. Yeah. And you need to stay where you come from. Being number five globally. Dude, yeah. That, yeah. that that is in the bio. That is in the bio, in the bio, though. Bio. That, yeah, that's in the bio. There. It's, yeah. it's there. Don't lie. Yeah, yeah, don't it's lie. facts, don't right? Don't lie. So, global, no, and right? iTunes so. is not YouTube. Eso no he comprado, papi. iTunes is no, people no, buying an album. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it was so a yeah. So ahora, I mean, we just want to go ahead and wish you the best. Uh, hope, facts, hopefully, you come back when you're ready to release the songs. Keep doing what you're doing. Your marketing, your branding, and and I'm glad that you believe in your branding. Um, I'm becoming a fan. I'm, I'm almost there, and I'll tell you straight up, and because because I see I see your development. Now you, I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious to listen to your shit now that because you've been taking vocal class for the last two years. You yeah. made so me, I'm curious you made to see me a it. fan. I'll be yeah, honest. you made me a fan. <laughs> Thank you, man. You made so, me a fan, bro. So I'm a fan. I'm I'm a supporter. But for me to be like coño free as a mi tigre. I'm, I'm, I got high oh, expectations of you. Prove, bro. Yeah, I got, I got no, high yo expectations. Lo que, yo lo que tengo son cinco canciones de bachata en la calle. Exactly. So yeah, you yeah, know, when so. I talk about people like JR, JR got two projects already. Yeah. When, you know, no, you not, not, not according to singles. Because <laughs> we, we, again, we had the pro, we had the privilege to be able to work yeah. with them. And, and seeing a lot of the other kids and a lot of the other artists doing it, it, it's a different mindset. And there's only a few thinking the way you're, you're, you're thinking. Thank you, keep man. it over again keep it there i would challenge you moving forward to i know how you studied and you educated yourself on the uh, on the aventura and move forward in the jr's go back go back do your homework go bro. back a little bit more keep doing your homework how you keep doing, doing your now. homework go back a little bit more because that's what you're going to understand the the difference in the colors the difference in the guitar doing things and you're going to learn a lot and, 
going to learn. Yeah. And that's going to add to your portfolio and that's going to add to your experience. Nah, bro. One of my favorite bachata albums is El Mayimbe Otra Vez. Uh -huh. You know what I'm... No, and yeah. I'm... And, and, yes. No, I'm a yeah. big... Uh, I'm a, La Batalla, that's one of my Who's favorite. Who's your favorite uh -huh. bachatero? Old school. No, no. Uh, Anthony. 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 But yeah. I, I also... I don't know if he's old school. I wouldn't call him old school, but I really love Zacarias Yeah, he's, as old, well. he's old school. Too. And well, I love... Zacarias is not old school like Anthony Santo and Rivalga. Right, right, right. But but he they come they after still, They still in the and 90s. Raulín. Raulín yeah. is old school. Compared to now, it's old school. Okay. And, and the, the, that's the respect that we always got to have. Raulín, yeah. to me, is... I, like, I respect Anthony more, like, because I grew up with my dad yeah. playing Anthony, Teodoro, Luis, Raulín. I respect Anthony. He had this like aura of like the bachata god. But Raulín, I heard I I heard a lot of his songs more growing up. Yeah, Raulín is my favorite. Raulín, Raulín mm -hmm. was one of the people that I'm actually influenced by the more and that like I could sing more. Of, I, I would remember more of his songs. More yeah, songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. I did my top ten bachata. I did a video with like the top ten, my top ten yeah, bachata. Yeah, Again, porque tu opinión? Es tu opinión. Es tu opinión. Yeah, opinion. <laughs> it went okay. viral on TikTok. It has over two hundred thousand views. It has more views than the Romeo video. Wow. And. Bro, crazy the video because the Romeo video has like 130,000 views. That top 10 video has 215,000 views. And all I did was name my top 10, and it was incredible to see like people arguing over why isn't Maetra higher or how come um, uh, uh, Loco de Amor isn't number yeah. one or like because Antología de Cariz is my favorite bachata yeah. of all time. And, yeah, and, and you know, and you know, you know, you know that song, right? You is know, it, is it a Vallenato? It's a remake, yeah. Yeah, that was what a lot of people were commenting. Ah, tú sabías eso, ¿verdad? Antología de Cariño. Sí. Sí, eso no sí. es de Anthony Santos. No. ¿Y tú sabes qué novela? No. ¿De qué? No, de una no, novela. No. novela. Ah, that no. was one of the things that people always say the most when they try to hit bachata. Is that the first time I heard that song was de Vito Vito. Pero Smurf. Ay, Dios Smurf, mío. Pero, pero va, de... Yo vamos a decir, vamos a seguir. Yo Smurf. Pero, antes, de... Ajá, pero que... ajá. antes de cerrar el par de preguntas picantes, vamos allá. Vamos a... Oh, eso no era picante. No era picante. Ok. Yeah, ahora okay, mismo, okay. ok, ahora mismo que okay. tú estás viendo, who are the peers that you mostly think that are working as, as much as you are or have something good coming out? Ok. Ooh. Tú dijiste picante, hasta una cerveza me voy a beber ahora porque Oy. vamos allá entonces. Um, eh, comparte. I think... Oh, <laughs> uh, you can't... No, you can't avoid Chavi. Chavi is the person with the most attention and the, the biggest platform. Guys, right? New guys, yeah. You asking me about my my colleagues, right? Peers. Yeah, yeah my peers. peers. Okay. Like the, you know, and, and actually, there's a new generation of like 2017 up. Oh. <laughs> 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 nigga, I ain't that old. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, in just in case. Of, yeah. Just so, in case. Okay. Um, um, go ahead. Chavi. Chavi mm -hmm. has just he has what you need as an artist, which is you build an incredible team, bro. That's yeah. a luxury that that. Yeah. that that um God has blessed him with, that he's worked for, that he's met the right people to be able to build a great team. Yeah. Um, and that Sal salud to that. Yeah, Nucho, yeah. thank you, Nucho. Thank Gracias. Thank Anthony, you. salud allí atrás. Thank you, Nucho. Thank you. So. You let me hang it, nigga. What the fuck? I, I can't reach, bro. You're such a so, keto, bro. Short ass. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Chavi, I think another person um, that's really working hard, he's not my peer. He's a little bit old, like, before me. But um, que se mantiene activo, loco, eh, Kevin Cosmos. Kevin, de lo mío personal, Kevin, Kevin okay. Kevin, my Kevin favorite, Kevin. I'll, I'll say... Ten, ten, ten Europa, eh, la hora, sí. Mi preferido, like, the people I listen to that I actually think is high. People could think what they want. Again, free his opinion. I love what Class A does. Okay. And, um, besides the... Be yeah, besides yeah. the friendship that I have with them. Because I know, yo, I know what everybody says. I know all the shit, all the people talk. I still think that... um. Class A is just talented, man, and they're true to themselves. Because I know yeah. people complain about Giannis' voice, that it might sound like Romeo. Yeah. People say that. But, nigga, he's supposed to change his voice? Like, that's his, that's, that's his Giannis, vocal cord. Giannis is yeah, dope. That's I don't yeah. know what Giannis, about. Listen, Giannis is dope. You know what I, I think, mean? I think they, they, they're the only group. Correct me if I'm wrong. Group. Because no hay mucho grupo. No hay mucho grupo, no. Mm -hmm. The only new group que están trabajando. Their, their chemistry is, is dope as hell. And with Luigi as the producer and, and Yanis as the songwriter, yo, so that's, fatal, that's, that's, yo, that's, that's it's, it's crazy. They're incredible. It's bro. crazy. Oh, that's it's crazy. So Class A, I, they're my favorite, but out of listening to their music, the person that has the biggest platform, uh, that's working the right way, 
that is really building a fan base is Chavi. Um, someone else I really respect a lot is Esme. I know a lot yeah. of people disagree with him on a lot of things, but I respect the, that he works. Yeah, um, no, I, as, as, he, he puts in the work. Even he if, put in I, the work. aunque es ronca mucho, he also works. Because I've been around him, yeah, so yeah. I see that no, he, no. he yeah, backs he does. his shit up with the he fact that... Numbers. He's putting his numbers. No, he's no, and not just YouTube and Spotify. Like, he stays up nights without sleeping. You That's know what I mean? Yeah. And he makes music he believes in. Yeah. I believe that when you create, this is one of the things that I want to say in this podcast. When you create, because everybody thinks they know what type of bachata you, you should be making. When you create... At the end of the day, it's your life. And you need to be happy with what you made and you need to be proud of what you made. Tiene que estar bien. But at the end of the day, you have to be proud of what you make. So people shouldn't make what other people think they should make. People should make the things they feel that comes from them, comes out of them. I, I, I agree to 90% of that because, because, because hay, hay mucha bien. gente. Sí, no, él está, él está aprendiendo bien. mucho. <laughs> mucho. And, and, and I applaud you to no, that. Again, he's... he's, he's so... <laughs> So you know, yes, nah. 90 90 percent of it is what you feel and what you make, but also yeah, understanding in what genre are you in, and that's Uy. the that's the fault where a lot of these artists le hace falta la educación que tú ahora mismo estás cogiendo y te estás educando, verdad? La educación. Oh, yo soy bachatero, pero usted es un rapero y he can't sing and he's coming out with bachata and his sample beats coming from 1970s and bongos que don't sample y la guira is not the regular guira, it's a freaking thing. Y, y están haciendo bachata de hoy que yo soy bachatero va a seguir mi hermano right, o sea, right, que no right, right. así no Exacto. now always respect the genre yeah. always understand what the basic is and the foundation of, is of it then from there you take it and you take it to the next level that you want to and then you implement what you feel you think is missing or what you feel you think you need to be able to be doing yeah. doing in the bachata again there's a lot of things that are not my cup of tea or, or let's say my cup of, uh, of beer no, be right like Your cup but of my, my, my cup of neutral and stuff but I also got to respect what you're doing. If it sounds good, and although I don't like it, and I like the majority of the people, I got to accept it. Yeah, There's man. a lot of artists that I think that a lot of the songs are not, not it. Not Yo, one of the songs from Formula Volume 3 that's been hitting a lot is yeah. Solo Conmigo. Again, one and of my top five. Solo Conmigo is not even in my top ten from that album. Oh, yeah. So, see, again, different opinions. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So but what? what what's your different, point, different, different point of view? Uh, yeah. Okay. What's your top two from there then? My top two? Yeah, I'm going to do this. Top Keep it nice and simple. My top Bebo, in, incredible song. Okay. Bebo, and I really love, I don't think it's the best song on the album, but I love it, which is R.I.P. I think the music on that project. Ya lo me, me oh, llegó oh, ahí entonces. Oh, 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 okay. That song's crazy. So nigga. for me, and I mentioned it before, is Boomerang and RP. For me, my opinion, Boomerang. Duda, because duda, it's duda, a, duda, duda. because That's Pati, Isaiah's favorite song too. Yeah, but, but right the, the, the now, the my favorite end. song is Perro from, from right now. I love Bebo. That you love Bebo. That was your favorite song. Yeah. Favorite song. You're not fucking with it no more. No, yeah, I do. But okay, right okay. now, I'm more like perro, nigga, perro. Duro. Yo, 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 quiero, yo quiero saber qué es lo que tú estás viviendo, que eso es lo que te gusta a ti, ¿eh? No. Ese es el tema que Ese álbum, detrás del tiempo... It, it's, listen, it's, it's, it's too much music in one CD for you, act, people to actually bro. pick everything else. Yo, so, it's two albums, really. And people don't, don't grasp it. Now, okay, Romeo no está pegado. Está bien, estamos escuchando la vaina, ya, bien. But for me, that's it. Now, and then to close it off, because tam, tamo, 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 ya, ya, tamo, la tam, tamo largo. <laughs> so, I'll see Anthony, any other questions for, for our special guest today, Frias? Because I'm, I'm, I'm actually amazed, and my respect from you went from, from here to getting to know you. I met you here and there, but getting to know you and yeah. understanding where you're coming from, you got my respect. Thank and, you. And a, a lot of people do not have that. And honestly, a lot of people do not have that. Honestly, I, I used to look at you with in a different way not in a negative way but okay i was like i don't know about this kid yeah but you definitely proved me wrong bro oh yeah, nah, yeah. Man. yeah. so I appreciate that bro that's for real yeah so ahora i want you to go ahead and introduce your your, your new yeah, single yeah. it's gonna be coming out into all digital platforms with video and todo <laughs> No, 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 no,
Let's go. They already know, guys, know you here. Know this is Bachateria Podcast. Podcast on the tu opinión. Diablo, Anthony, Dios mío. Let, 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 let me do it. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do it. Okay. Bueno, mi gente, this is Bachateria Podcast. Podcast. Donde tu opinión es solamente nuestra opinión. Ande, el día. Es a propósito. Está fuera, está, está fuera, ya. Señores, aquí, aquí lo dejamos con el, la nueva canción de, de Frías. Revivir. Revivir. Appreciate it. Good quality musicians. Good quality music. Support the kid. He's doing his thing. Yeah. yeah. Bye bye. No ha nacido un corazón que ha sentido lo que yo siento por ti. Aunque el mundo alrededor se esté acabando aquí, yo pienso. Podcast.